Hey, what's up, guys and gals? Fuck is up. Yo, country girl, Kevin, ele hold on, I'm fucking retarded. What's up, guys? Hi! Happy fucking Saturday, motherfucking weekend. <sighs> Yo, country girl, Kevin, Elaine, uh, I think Captain Z, I think that's you, or it's random, I can't remember. Some of y'all's Twitch names are different from your YouTube names. It fucks me up. Um, Katai, what's up? Ashley, what's good? Yo, AC, what up, dog? Woo! Fucking cold here today, dudes. Actually, not really. It's just it's been raining since yesterday, man, and it's windy as fuck. Uh, fucking same. I woke up this morning, I went and got a haircut. Um, and that was pretty much all I did with my day. I hung out with my niece for a little bit. <laughs> Same up there. Yeah, Katai's windy as fuck. And you know my ass is skinny, so fucking I might get blown over. Oh, that's why I can't fucking see anything. I'm sick, I still have... I can put my glasses on, holy fuck. Uh, oh, my hair? There you go. Um, I just been contemplating uh, if I should stream for a second time today. Bro, just stream, man. That's it, I can't. I can't tell you when to do it, or if you should do it, or even advise you to do it. You just gotta do it, bro. That's it. Just go for it. That's the thing about streaming, man. Sometimes people get in their own head. Should I go live? Should I not go live? How long should I go live? Should I be live for an hour? Should I be live for two hours? Bro, hit that go live button and see what happens. That's it. Yo, Drake, what's going on, man? Okay, yeah, you are random. Okay, yeah, I, I, I thought you were Captain Z for some reason. Yeah, dog, I can't do it. As I, as I get older, my vision gets worse. I think I get it from my mother, because my mom's blind as a fucking bat. Like, as a bat. She can't see shit. Watching March Madness, bruh. I haven't watched a college basketball game since like the fucking Christian Leitner days back at Duke University when Coach Shashevsky was just fucking running the NCAA. I haven't seen a single college basketball game since then. And that was like, I feel like that was like the golden era of basketball too. Not just for college, but for, uh, for professional as well. <sighs> March Madness is your favorite time of year? I don't know, man, bro. I kind of just, like, fell off sports, dude. I, I, I really did, like... I still watch baseball every now and again because it's my favorite sport and it's what I played as a kid and uh, in high school and uh, your boy even had some uh, some college offers to play baseball but that, that never panned out. Um, so I still watch baseball every now and again. I love watching them little bitches from fucking college softball. I'll watch them, bro. They're fucking, they're so good. I like watching the I like watching college softball. Them girls are fucking nuts. And some of them girls, I'm not even sure if they're girls. Y'all should actually have them tested cuz some of them fucking ladies look like full ass grown Samoan fucking male bodybuilders. It's crazy. Mm. 
used to watch Alabama football, but then they had to start talking about, oh, you want to kill me? Soccer? Yeah, I never got into soccer either. <sighs> Astra, I appreciate it. Dude, cut more off the top than I would have wanted. Kind of pissed me off because I'm trying to grow my hair out. And I was like, dog, don't touch the top of my fucking head. He's like, kind of, I kind of have to. So next time, I'm just going to grow it out, put it in a fucking man bun. And then uh, just be like, don't touch anything from up here and up. That's it. So... Yeah, I've never had. I, I, I've, I've, I've never really. I don't dislike it. I just don't really give a fuck about watching soccer. The only, the only sport I care about, and I only watch it at a certain time of year, October. That's the only time I watch baseball, bro. There's a hundred and sixty something odd games in a season. I ain't got time. I ain't got time to watch every game, bro. I just don't. So when October rolls around, I'll watch the playoffs. I'll watch a little bit of like spring break and shit like that. Like they're, uh, they're or not spring break, but they're spring training. Other than that though, I, nah. And that's the only sport I really, I, I can't, I, I can't watch any other sports. I could give a rat's fuck about American football. I really can, bro. I really can. It's so fucking boring to me. It is. Uh, yo, Tennessee, what's good? I like I like hockey because I like to see them fight. I mean, personally, I think that hockey players are tougher than 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 football players. I don't care what you're saying. Oh my God, he touched me a little too hard. Man, flag. Oh my God, you breathed on the quarterback a little too heavy. Flag. Oh my God, you, you accidentally couldn't stop your fucking momentum and you accidentally ran into the kicker. Flag. Bunch of fucking pussies in American football. Whereas in hockey, they beat the shit out of each other and they check each other all the time. And not only is it awesome, but it's encouraged. A bunch of fucking pansies in American football, bro. And soccer, too. Oh my god, fuck yeah. Fucking actors, bro. They deserve fucking Emmys and Oscars over in the fucking soccer scene. Flopping like that big-ass pussy LeBron James. I can't watch basketball either. Too much flopping. Not to mention, it's a pussy sport now. You can't even, you can't even touch anybody. Remember back in the day where you could clothesline a motherfucker when he was going into the paint? You can't do that no more. And it's just like, bro, it's sports. Let these motherfuckers compete and like, and, and fucking get physical. But y'all take the physicality out of it and turn everyone into a bitch. I don't want to watch it anymore. <sighs> that's, that's my thing. <sighs> By the way, today's a variety stream. I don't know what the fuck we're doing. I don't know what the fuck we're watching. Um, you ain't never gonna mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, Drake, there's always a limit, but I don't know if we're there yet, bro. We just started. I don't even know what's on the list. Let me check. Oh no. <laughs> MK. Bad tattoos. Lord. I don't have bad tattoos, but I do have a couple of stupid tattoos. For some odd reason in my youth, I decided to get my first and last name tattooed on me. I always like to make the joke that uh, I got it for when I joined the military in case my arms got blown off, they knew who to return the arms to. Fucking retarded. Mm -mm. 
mm, 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 mm. Fail Army. I hate my family. Crazy, hilarious family moments. Um, a video by Wise Spade called F Everything. I could get behind that. I think I'll like that video. Unsubscribe clips. Donut operators on the dangers of untrained police officers. That's what happens when you defund your police. Really? You get shit cops and then you want to keep continuously fucking bitching. Well, shouldn't have defunded them, you fucking morons. Um, terrible pain. Okay, yeah, that. Uh, Warhammer, that. Um, private snafu, yeah, that. Okay, yeah, gotcha. Um, why Hopper is a fantastic villain, A Bug's Life. I fucking love that movie. I haven't seen that movie in so long. I forgot all about that movie. It was such a that's such a good animated film. They don't make them like that anymore, man. All the animated movies today, fucking pander. Make it a female, make it lame, and make it gay. <laughs> I'm telling you, bruh. Fucking South Park not knocked it out of the park with their movie. If y'all haven't seen it. <sighs> All right. We're probably gonna start with a. Uh... Sticking my bitch in the house. That that shit, my girl. Like I'm laying down with my piece up. All I had was one Molly. She took half. Prenup. I just lick my thumb and thumb through that pussy like catalog. All my ninjas won't fuck, and she gon' let us like a salad bar. Yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. I get a little hype when I listen to Lil Wayne. Let me. Let's get started. Let's let's find this this video. My girl gotta keep my lies straight. The machine gun go brrr, like I got that bitch on vibrate. Uh, cut off the handy bandwidth. I'm a DMX cause I keep me a bad bitch. Hold on. Roll up, I get bread like cold cut. She suck dick to her nose run. Yeah, rich ninja, that's the shit they don't like. While I drive, make me run lights. You gotta hitchhike. <laughs> That's my favorite line. These hoes wanna ride my dick. You gotta hitchhike. <laughs> <laughs> no lie, I'm getting paid and fucking bitches. The feds watching the trips, plates in the streets. We call that washing dishes. Left hand on that steering wheel, right hand on that knife. Uh, expectations versus reality. Ah, yeah, okay. Wow, that's terrible. <laughs> oh my god, look at this man's tattoo. <laughs> Yo, y'all see that in the thumbnail? Y'all see the second video? Homie is playing Tetris with the cross and Jesus. <laughs> oh, that's so good. I come down my fat pockets, my shock absorbers. All right, put them out with water. Uh, dude, that, that shit I don't like. Hi, oh, left side, not. That's what I was gonna do. A lot of ice. Dedication, foul hole. Shit. James and the Giant Peach? Bro, you know what movie I absolutely loved when I was a kid? The Iron Giant. You ever see that movie? Older movie. When we were younger. That was a, that was a fantastic movie. If I'm not mistaken, I think that movie made me cry as a kid. The Iron Giant? <sighs> Brave little toaster. Yeah, I see. I saw it, bro. <laughs> I, I I feel the exact same way. I didn't. Yeah.
<sighs> I haven't seen Brave Little Toaster. I don't know what that is. Yo, Candy, what's up, man? Uh, Ashley, I used, to, I used to have a shirt that said that. It said Female Body Inspector FBI on it. I used to have that. Looking back on it now, it's, that's fucking lame as shit, but <laughs> I had that shirt when I was younger. Uh, all right. Let's, uh... God damn it. I have to. I'll be right back. Give me a second. Oh, let's see these fucking bad tattoos. You know, I don't even know how how bad tat I mean, I do know how, but I mean some every time I've gone to a tattoo parlor, bro, and I've uh I've asked an artist about a tattoo, you know what's the first thing I ask him? First thing that comes out of my mouth when I go to a tat when I go to a tattoo shop. <clears throat> Hey, let me see your portfolio. Let me see your portfolio. And then nine out of ten times, if he's a, if he's a tattoo if he's a tattooer and an artist that's worth the fuck, he's gonna give you a big ass binder with all of his work. And you can actually see for yourself if this artist is any good. Really, I mean that's what I do. I don't know how y'all do it and uh, all that stuff but if you're a tattooer and you're looking to get into tattooing and you're looking to maybe become an apprentice bro build your portfolio take pictures of all of your work take pictures of all of your drawings take pictures of, like you have to show people that you can do this stuff because <laughs> if i look at your portfolio and it's just nothing but ass i'm not gonna let you tattoo me you know what i'm saying so <sighs> yeah, Napolarian. We go live on YouTube on Saturdays. You gotta have a portfolio if you're trying to be a tattoo artist, man. You just have to. Whether you're an apprentice, whether you're just starting out, whether uh, you're trying to get into it, all that stuff. You need to give people a reason to trust you. Because at the end of the day, you are marking their body forever. Right? So. Ask for their portfolio. But too many people, they're just like, oh, my, my fucking, my crackhead uncle does tattoos out of his basement. <laughs> Come get tattooed. <laughs> and who knows, man, he might be dope, but I guarantee he's not sanitary. <sighs> All right. Let's, uh. You need to see people's work, man. You don't really need to go to a shop to get a tattoo either. That's like a common misconception. The tattoos I have on my hands, I actually got inside of a barracks room when I was in the service. Uh, not every tattoo you have to get in inside of a shop. You don't have to go to like a really, really good shop or a studio or nothing like that. You find someone that does good work and you find someone that is very, very sanitary. And I would probably just prioritize the, 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 the sanitary part above most else. Or at the very least, equally. But, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's see. Good fucking God. That is the most horrific New York Yankee symbol I have ever seen. I could draw a Yankee symbol better than that. 
But you know what? This kind of actually makes me happy. Because fuck the Yankees. I'm glad this tattoo is shit. <laughs> oh, to be honest. Fuck the Yankees. Oh man, that looks great. As a guy who's got plenty of tattoos at this point, this is gonna be a fun sub, because no matter how bad I've felt about any that I do have, which honestly, I've never felt bad about any of mine, these are just gonna make me feel even better. Uh. Baby Yoda holding a bush apple. Are you people actually going to artists for this, or are you just having your buddy d d Oh god, the next one. Yeah, you are not going to actual artists. Holy mm. crap, man! Don't cheap out on tattoos, that's one of the things you don't cheap out on. Mm -mm. A buddy of mine has a friend who gave himself this in the 8th grade. <laughs> eighth grade? <laughs> Man, just pay to have someone go over it. 8th grade? Bro, let me come home with a tattoo in 8th grade. I'm not on this live stream right now because my ass is dead. I'm in the dirt. My mom would have fucking killed me. 8th grade? That's crazy. Don't do the laser man, you'll die. I was trying to decide which one was the worst, but luckily the artist made this convenient collage of mediocrity. Wow, that is not doing him any favors. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. Create yourself a portfolio if you're trying to become an artist so you can show people your work. And for the most part, uh, it, it, it goes good, but who... Who, 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 who is that supposed to be right here? Who is this? Right here. That, that just looks like a fucking even bitchier version of Greta Thunberg. Oh, Lord. Or her, doesn't matter. They're all terrible. The only thing that could make it worse is if it had eyebrows. Oh, oh, man. Oh, God, no. The okay, listen is if it had eyebrows. Oh. It's not the worst shit that I've ever seen. It's not. However, this wolf doesn't look... This looks like a wolf mixed with a human, to be honest. It almost looks like the wolf is smiling. Like the wolf has human features more than it has wolf features features and it doesn't look vicious and it doesn't look mean and it doesn't look threatening and it doesn't look how I would imagine a wolf should look like as a tattoo. I mean, but listen, it, from what we've seen so far, that's not awful. It's also not great. Oh man. Oh god no. Vini Vedi Vecchi. I know what it says. I know what it says. Know what it says. For those what? who think I spelt my tattoo wrong, I didn't. I wanted to spell it wrong because the real meaning of this is I came, I saw, I conquered. And I don't feel like I've achieved those last two. Once I can do them, what no, that's not that's not really Hold on. Once I do them, then I will get my tattoo. Oh, you're you're an idiot, bro. You're, you're a moron. It doesn't work that way, dude. There's no. <laughs> I came, I saw, I conquered. Uh, but at this point in my life, I only came. I didn't see and I didn't conquer. But once I see and once I conquer, I'll go back to the tattoo artist and have him actually spell it correctly. Your your logic makes me want to throw up. See how it works. Oops. Epic Joker weed tattoo. Oh my god, it's your whole ass. The the weed doesn't look bad. I mean, it really is hard to fuck up a marijuana leaf, to be honest. But you, that Joker's terrible. Um, I think they were going for Jared Leto's Joker in this one. And not anything else that is common. That, that, that. This Joker's missing a couple chromosomes, bro. I don't even think he's a threat, really. I think this Joker has been locked up in Arkham forever, and he has no chance of escaping. Look at that. Good lord. Fucking wandering eye. 
That's your whole ass, man. What's going on with the hand? I know hands are difficult. I, I really, I know they are. But if you're going to be an artist that does permanent crap on people's bodies and charge money for it, like this person clearly did, even though I don't like the you know what that You know what that reminds me of? You know what the hand reminds me of? This. The, the, the selfie pose that people do with their cell phone. That's what, that, that's what it looks like the hand's doing. Like, like this, right? You see my hand? That's what it, that, that, that's what it looks like. <laughs> I don't know why you wouldn't add more depth to the hand, really. Uh, and just straight up line work. That's it, just lining? Ooh. Ran rap with the masking tape. We've got better bandages now. They were- Ah, you're holding all the planets and fucking... What is that supposed to be? Earth, Jupiter, the moon. I don't even know what that other planet is. Let's just, let's just call it Neptune. Who fucking knows? Work a lot better than this. You've got to be able to draw a hand, man. Is this, is this real? Oh, please tell me no. Please tell me no. How do you do? Is this real? Oh, please. That's, um... Good lord. Bro, th this looks like something out of a Meat Canyon episode. Really, look at the hands. And... Look at the- look at her thighs. And the wings. The wings don't even look like wings, they look like... They look like continents on a map. And fucking... Oh, Lord. Lord. At least show me the titties. I mean, come on. If we're going to look at this garbage, at least show me the tits. What do the tits look like? Please tell me no. Please tell me no. How do you do, fellow emos? Oh, man. Oh, dude, dude. You're going to love that for like a week and a half. Oh, there's nothing to be done. When it's on the face, it's a whole level extra. Like if you're really, really rich and you don't have to worry about money anymore, say like an artist like, ooh, like Post Malone, he's got tattoos all over his face. Who cares, right? He's incredibly successful, so he doesn't have to worry about really anything at this point, but. I mean, you could, uh, I mean, you could just tell your, your fucking employer, like, listen, man, I have permanent pink eye and that's what that is. And maybe quite possibly try to come up with a good excuse, but. Uh, that out of all the face tattoos you could get, the heart's not bad. The, I don't really care. The, the heart is whatever. It's just this shit, really. You get face tattoos if you want all day, but as far as a face tattoo, that one's stupid, really. Um, my mother got eyeliner tattooed, um, and she never did it again because she said that it was fu it fucking sucked. Uh, but she got eyeliner tattooed. And to be honest, you couldn't really notice and like unless you really paid attention and unless you really, really like got close to her and like looked at her eyeballs. Um, and she only did it once and she never did it again. And this is the kind of like like eyeliner and stuff like that. That's the kind of tattoo that you have to keep getting it. It's not it's not a, it's not a one off uh, for the most part. People like you and me, we got plenty to worry about. My own design. That's not the flex you think it is. Call out. What is that supposed out to, to be? Call out to all you tattoo. Call out to all you tattoo fans. I'm doing some awesome new tats. Charging on a pay what you can, pay what you can basis. If you want to be awesome and a hero, look no further. The tat above is a spiral. My own design. Look forward to hear. Hold on. Look. What is it about? My own own design that's not um that looks like a butthole with hemorrhoids bro that's not a spiral that's that's nothing but hey man kudos for actually putting your work out there some people don't do that and i'm telling you man if you want to be an artist you want to be a tattooer you got to put your work out there and you have to you have to sell yourself and you have to promote yourself and stuff like that so kudos to that but that's ass and on top of that, it that looks infected. Not the flex you think it is. Call out to all you tattoo fans. Mm. I'm doing some awesome new tats, charging on a pay what you can basis. If you want to be awesome and a hero, look no further. The tat above is of a spiral, my own design. 
Yo, seek and destroy. What's going on, man? If you've just showed up and I haven't seen you, I'm sorry. My bad. Trying to watch, read, all that stuff. You did not design the spiral on his hand, permanently on his hand. All right, what do we have here? 50 cent? Wait, oh, is it? What am I looking at here? Is that a rose or something? It's a rose. <laughs> oh, who cares? Beautiful back piece yeah. by a local tattoo artist. Wow. That is really bad. Now, when you say beautiful, I mean, it, it beauty always is in the eye of the beholder. But, you know, at one, at one point, I did have an infatuation with wings. Um, I, I wanted to get a back tattoo with, like, uh, one wing was an angel wing and the other one was a devil wing. That's fucking corny and cringe, really, uh, to me now. But when I was younger, I had a really big infatuation with wanting to get a back tattoo with just, like, wings and stuff like that. And I don't have any back tattoos. Uh, but who is this supposed to be? I don't... Is that supposed to be you and your youth? I don't know who that is. I... Uh, it's definitely not Hellboy, that's for sure. Or... Or Lucifer. That's... That's just a dude. I don't know. Ed, bro, and it probably hurt like a mother... Oh my god. Wow. Especially the wings, too, man. That's a lot of... That's a lot of... That's a lot of coloring in. A lot of shading. Uh... Homie got the... What is this? What is this right here? On the top of your back. It's like you got a reverse tramp stamp. Instead of it being on your lower back, you got it right here uh, on the top of your neck. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. I've always wondered who's more at fault. The person who sees... You know what? It doesn't matter. Wow. Sponsored post on Instagram. Good Lord, where do I begin? I think we begin by forgetting. Okay, so this has a lot of issues. However, I... This has a lot of issues. Okay. The hands, fucked. The, the beard, fucked. The 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 head doesn't even the, the it doesn't even it looks like two separate tattoos honestly it looks like you tattooed the boulder the big ass rock that he's holding and it just like it looks like two separate tattoos however the eyeball doesn't look that bad and all of this stuff down here doesn't look too incredibly terrible uh, I think it's just everything from the beard up fucked man. And this is a Greek god. Why is he, why does he look like he hasn't eaten in like 27 days? Look at him. Look at like a fucking Ethiopian. Look, look, look at these arms. Look at these, look, look at it like, like, you're not supposed to see cartilage. You're not supposed to see this shit, man. His, his hands are bigger than his actual biceps. Definitely not, uh, hmm. Mm. But hey, man, if you like it, you like it. This exists. Like, at least this is actually pretty coherent, you know, in terms of... Yeah, Atlas. I couldn't think of the fucking name. What we have in the image? I mean, look at that eye. That eye is pretty awesome. That's you have what to I admit, said. the artistic prowess in I this to... one honestly has been the... Yeah, I, I don't... Uh, the eye, man, looks pretty good. Everything else, I don't know what happened best so far despite it looking kind of good in that head that head i think is the worst part mm -hmm. everything else could be significantly worse here okay that does look like an old oof oof guys see it see it mine looks way better good praying hands with a rose coming through it and it says Amen on the top of it. I'm not really all that fucking religious, but I, I it, my logic when I was 18 years old was like, if I get a tattoo because my mom doesn't want me to get tattoos, I might as well get a religious one because then she won't be as mad. Uh, so this was actually my first tattoo. I got this when I was 18. Uh, and it's pretty much stood the test of time. Uh, it's pretty decent.
it's not like the it's not anything fucking intricate or crazy but yeah praying hands with the rose amen on the top with a little halo right there that was my logic not not i'm not the the most religious person i actually give a fuck actually uh but that was my logic i was like uh my mom's gonna beat my ass if I get a tattoo, but if I make it religious, then she might go easy on me. Um, she did not, so. Old school book doodle. Which again, if that's specifically what you're going for, like you've got some doodles in a notebook and you wanna like get that done because it's kinda cool, you know, whatever. It was something you, you yourself drew. Sweet, I don't mind. But if you went in and discussed a design with a guy and the guy charged you hundreds of dollars and then this was the result, you should what, sue the dude? Although, they stencil first, so you'll be able to see if it looks like garbage before you go, let's make it permanent, my precious. Hmm. Oh, no. This one just doesn't look even... That... My precious... That looks like... That looks like a Rathalos from Monster Hunter. Remotely done, as well as being pretty rough. Batman cat that I got last year. Okay, but that's not a bad tattoo. I know I'm not alone in this. That is hilarious. I'd get that. That's not what a cursive- I'd get that somewhere like on my fucking ankle or something. <laughs> I'm a fan of stupid tattoos as long as the quality is good. Man, one of my friends in the military had a tattoo of a robot dreaming about a watermelon, and he called it his racist robot. It was just hilarious, and it was well done. Was it stupid? Absolutely, but it was well done, and I was like, that's fucking great. If R looks like, hold on, what do we have here? Find someone who grows flowers in the darkest pants of you. <laughs> oh no! Homie just got this from a friend when he could have gone to a real shop. Yes, he could have. Absolutely could oh, have and Lord. should have gone to a real shop. I mean, what would that have cost? A couple hundred bucks? Um... I mean, if just straight up line work, yeah, like literally only a hundred dollars. If it's just line work, a hundred bucks, that's it at a shop. Or if you want to make it look actually good and do some shading and do some coloring and do some make it look good, then at the very most, at, judging by the size of it, 160? 160? Max, 200 max, bro, depending on the shop that you go to. Maximum, and it would have looked a lot better and been a lot more sanitary. Oh no, can you remove that S? Say no more, fam. My mother is the heart that keeps me alive. My mother is the heart that keep me alive. Oh, no. Thank you, friends. I don't know, man. My roommate got mad when I laughed. Am I in the wrong? What is it for? Rip grandma? Oh, you couldn't even put her name. You just put grandma. It. Oh, man. Look, there's nothing wrong with absolutely loving your family members, friends, grandparents, whatever. But if you're going to do a big piece like this, it's got to be really well thought out and planned out, dude. It really just, has just said grandma. Just you couldn't even put her name. Fucking fuck, man. Show, show Gertrude a little respect. It's to be, you allocated the entire back of your torso, the whole back, top to bottom. It even spills over the shoulders for this. You and your grandma must have been the literal best of friends. There's nothing wrong with- I'm guessing grandma had a parakeet. I'm assuming. That, but damn. When you wash your body, do you use a moldy loofah, a dirty washcloth, <laughs> or you're that guy that just uses their hands while only scrubbing your- Hey, look at that! That one's mine! <laughs> Damn, that took me a second, and I don't know why, because I'm looking at is. it on my arm right now. For those of you that are not in the know, this is my tattoo. That what is, is it? <laughs> one of my many. What is it? And just in case you're wondering, no, I'm not in a cult. I promise. I mean, unless that cult is being a big fan of Silent Hill. More specifically, oh. the first one. I believe this is called the Seal of Metatron. Never played Silent Hill, so... Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? I love it. Wonder if the rest of my tattoos are seemingly going to pop up here as we go through. Sailor Moon? More like Sailor... 
Oh, wow, you weren't kidding. I almost wonder if they meant for that pinkish color or if it's the beginning of a festering skin disease. Hmm, well, um, I don't know. Uh... Most of the comments were saying how good it was. Just left the shop. Well, I don't know. If it's an art style, it's an art style. It's okay. Really? I mean, and mind you guys, I can't really talk too much. Actually, the head of the snake is weird, actually. It doesn't look like it's coiling up. It looks like the head is literally detached from the rest of its body. Uh, but that, that was probably difficult for the artist, but uh, uh, it's not the worst thing that I've seen. Uh, with this tattoo right here, my sleeve, I, I really have to get, like, these faces touched up, and I have to get some things that, you know, as I, as time goes on, uh, I have to get some of this stuff relined and retouched, and especially some of the coloring inside of the roses, I have to get those as well, especially on this side. This side really didn't, uh, yeah, so. Style. There's, <sighs> there have been at least this one and one before that weren't too awful. I mean, this just looks like someone's specific art style, which again, if you're going to an artist, you have to see what their specialty is because everyone specializes in something different. If this guy's got- Exactly, dude. If they don't specialize in portraits, do not let them tattoo a portrait on you. It's not going to come out good. And portraits is a very- Man, po uh, portraits is like one of the most trickiest tattoos to, to do, in my opinion. Got a unique style that you like, that's not an issue. Sure, it's a little- is this the Deathly Hall is this a Deathly Hallows thing? We've got the snake. We've got the Deathly Hallows thing on the skull. It's a little odd. Not my cup of tea at all, but at least you kind of know what it is. Scars don't heal. Harambe, you wow. It's supposed to be a galaxy. Are you sure about that? Oh my god, why isn't it bandaged? Friend on Facebook seems proud of this. Looks like what's in the toilet after Taco Bell, but gem <laughs> oh my god oh, man what is wrong with her foot on facebook seems proud of this gem <laughs> oh my god her oh no that is bad that is very bad i'm really wondering what part of the body this is on on you i guarantee this is on a dude Bet money. Guarantee it's on a dude. And, ooh, the face is horrendous. The hair is horrendous. Um, this, her left arm looks like it actually belongs to a female, but her right arm looks like it belongs to a dude. Like, you see how fucking buff her right arm is? And then, oh my god, don't even get me started on the feet, the heels, the ankles, the fucking, lord have mercy. Inverted knees too, lord. You really, uh, mm. <laughs> oh man, ten years of shame later. <laughs> oh, you really gotta be careful about those giant ones too. Even if you think you like- like something out of Resident Evil. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. That's on your thigh, I believe, right? Yeah, you should wear jeans. Get it first, you know, sit on it for a little bit. When it's like that, oh dude, if you want to go under the laser, it's under not thigh. gonna look much better, and I've always heard that it hurts like 50 times worse. This dragon- That's always what I've heard too about laser surgery. Laser removal surgery, I always heard that it hurts worse than the actual tattoo itself. Came from a shop that charges 150 bucks an hour. Are they still open because- Ain't no goddamn way. A hundred and fit- Bro, unless you're getting a sleeve, or unless you're getting like a full chest piece, or a full back piece, ain't no way. $150 an hour? This is a ripoff. This is an absolute ripoff. You got robbed. 
I don't even know what that is. That looks like a combination between the Creeper from Jeepers Creepers and a fucking Pokemon. What is that? As I hope not. Found some gold on Facebook. Beginner that doesn't know what he's doing. Oh! Oh, oh no! Oh my god, dude! It looks infected! You need to go to the I hospital. think it is! You need to go to the hospital. Wow. Okay, that's just not great. I am so to to sorry to the person that got that done. Wow. You see, there are products you can buy to practice. There are. Hell, get a gold. Yeah, there is actually. It's I, I it's a, it's a type of a type of little material that you can practice it's like simulated skin and you can practice your your tattooing on it i i used to have some because i i had so i had some tattoo machines when i was in afghanistan because i got bored and i actually tattooed myself when i was in afghanistan um you know i actually should submit some 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 tattoos to mk um because the tattoos that i did on myself they're pretty horrendous um, but mine didn't come out like this, man, at all. Uh, grapefruit, man. Sonogram tattoo by a local independent tattoo artist. Damn. If you want realism, you have to specifically seek out a person that is specializing in, in realism. realism. Same thing with watercolor and stuff like that. Not every artist is going to be able to do everything you want, okay? I've been fortunate enough to find a guy that's been able to do everything that I've wanted pretty frickin' well so far, I must say. The Ace of Kings, okay? So embarrassing to look at. <laughs> well, I mean, at least it's on your hands, so it's gonna fade. Usually- This looks like you did it yourself with a Sharpie. That's what that looks like. Pretty quick, especially if you do a lot of work with your hands, you know? Maybe do some gardening. It'll fade soon enough. Spotted on the beach. Go Bulls! That's a bull. Some post on here. I think, well, it's not that bad. That one's not that bad because that's an easy cover-up, to be honest. That's a bull. That's an easy cover-up. You, you go to a decent artist, he can, cover, he can cover that up so easy, so well, and it's not that big either, so... Oh, some you you got drunk on spring break and, and let your buddies talk into some stupid shit. I, I think that's what that was. Post on here. I think, well, it's not that bad. Just not great either. This isn't one of them. Oh, oh, my Holy God. Hold shit. on. Let's zoom in here. Woo, that's looking pretty rough. K-pop singer tattoo. Who is doing this to these people? So my buddy's stepsister got a tattoo of her mother. Oh, they're supposed to be the same. I see. Christopher Walken or Steve Buscemi? Yes. Make it stop. Wait, what am I? So I'm guessing the one on the left is what they wanted and it had been done before. And the one on the right is unfortunately what they got. Yikes. That's another thing I'm pretty sure you should be doing. Yikes. Yeah, the one on the left is great. Yikes. If you see a tattoo like the one on the left and go, oh my God, I want that exact tattoo. You're going to need to hunt down the person that did it. Usually they post it on their own Instagram, right? Tattoo artists love Instagram. And then you're going to need to travel to wherever the hell they are to have them do it. You don't just call up your local dude downtown and have them try to replicate. You're gonna, you find that artist definitely wouldn't fly straight. There's an artist that I found on Instagram that is from Denmark and he is absolutely fucking phenomenal. The only problem is, is that he's in fucking Denmark, and I can't, I, 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 I don't, I'm not going to Denmark. Oh, uh, huh. New piece that's being worked on, so in love with it already. Well, at least it's not done. Supposed what is it supposed to be? New piece that's being worked on, so in love with it already. Well, at least it's not what is it? A spear? Uh, a, an arrow? Um, a retarded peacock? I don't know what that is. I can't tell. And that's the worst tattoos to get. The ones where you don't even know what the fuck it is. I feel like that's worse than the ones that are awful. It's not done. Suppose. An ink quill? I don't know. 
supposed to be a memorial tattoo on an acquaintance of mine. It's... <laughs> oh yeah, Keith, he's probably, yeah, he's probably very expensive. I've seen his work before and I'm just like, oh my god, I would love to get tattooed by this guy, but... One, I don't have the time to travel to, or the money to travel to Denmark. And then two, I'd be probably paying out the ass just for his services, which is worth it because I've seen his work before and it's fucking phenomenal, but yeah. Man, that collar doesn't look too good. <sighs> it symbolizes uh, loss. Oh, God damn it. They what is that? Collar doesn't look too good. It symbolizes loss. Oh, God! It symbolizes loss. You lost your money. Damn it. Facebook delivered. Originally thought the talons were fidget spinners. <laughs> oh yeah, I can see why you God. thought that. Oh, why is it that the worst ones are always covering a... This is just... This is just a disgrace. Man, how are you going to do this? How are you going to do this? How are you gonna take? How are you gonna take this majestic animal? And and you didn't even color it, bro. You got stars on it. I know what you were trying to do. Bald eagle, red, white, and blue, American flag. I know what you were going for, but nah, man. That's just like. I bet when people ask you where you're from, you're just like. I'm from America. That's that's got to be the way you speak with with a tattoo like this. Bad. Huge amount of space. There's so much going on with these hand tattoos. Oh, look, doodle it up. More power to you, brother. Dude, at first glance, it, I, I I get Among Us vibes. Really, to be honest, I feel like there's a game of Among Us happening on your fucking fingers. I'm not opposed to hand or finger tattoos. However, I see an eyeball. Uh, I see a lot of... I don't know what any of this stuff is. I don't... Mm, no. This tattoo artist put about as much work into your tattoo as you did into your nail polish. I have a doodle tattoo. Actually, I've got two doodle tattoos. Two rocket ships, actually. One of them was done by my friend, our good narrator over on Ask MK, Brandon. He actually gave me a tattoo on my left. A tattoo artist could fix hand tattoos, right? It, a tattoo artist can fix a tattoo within reason. Not everything can be fixed. There's some tattoos where, bro, you're fucked. You either, you either keep it forever, deal with it, or you get it laser removed. And the thing with laser removal is that you can still see it. Laser removal leaves a scar, man. So yeah, the ink is gone, but you can still see that it was there. Uh, so yeah, you can you can remove certain things. You can you can you can do cover ups and stuff like that. And that's another thing. You need to find an artist that also specializes in cover ups. Not every artist is good at cover-ups man don't just go to your regular fucking dude and be like oh just because you're a tattoo artist and you work for this shop that means that you can do that you're proficient at this no man no leg that looks terrible maybe i'll post that one to twitter so i can find that in the next bad tattoos what do you think hmm are those supposed to be footprints baby footprints and uh, you got a chunky little baby, I'll tell you that. Good lord. At first, that that looked like fucking ham. To be honest, what's his name? Avery. Nineteen months. Avery got some big ass, fat ass feet. <laughs> Some terrible anatomy. Where are his feet? Well, uh, see, birds are like big airliners. They just sort of... They... Uh, he doesn't need feet, bro. That's probably fucking Pidgeot from Pokemon. Y'all remember? Is it Pidgeot? I forget his name. You know the fucking bird? Bird Pokemon? It's, it's been 20 years since I've, since I've fucked around with Pokemon. This is kind of what it looks like, really. Fuck the feet, whatever.
They just sort of retract him. He looks like a potato. Terrifying. Ugh. Wait, I've seen that one before. Get him out of here. Are you ready for some football? I don't think this guy's ready for some football. Dude, look, if... J.J. Watt would be incensed. He still plays for the Texans, right? Does he even still play? I can't remember. I don't care. The color on a tattoo looks like that. You need to go back in and get more color added once it heals. So I hope they did that, okay? That is some rough color work, dude. I mean, it's rough all around, but that color work is particularly awful. The illegal tattoo. The illegal tattoo? What? It should be illegal. For what they did to you. What? I just can't. I can't either. A girl I went to high school- I don't- hold on. We, we... These go really fast. I'm sorry I keep pausing, but I need to see this shit. Illegal tattoo? What? I just can't. I can't- uh... You call it- I see. You call it music. I call it my... Therapist? I think you mean therapy. And why does half of the tattoo look good, but the other half is... Fuck it, like, dude, the, the therapist part sucks. But the lettering right here is not bad. And why is the M so bold? Every other letter is fine, right? To a degree. And I don't even know what the fuck is going on up here. I don't know what this is. Uh, this looks like the keys that prison guards carry. You know, they got all them damn keys and little fucking on a little circular hook. either a girl i went to high school with has this on her upper thigh oh oh i'd cry oh no Hold on either now. a girl i went to high school with has this on her upper thigh oh that's supposed to be a what a, a bengal tiger uh what or no pink panther i don't know what the fuck that's supposed to i don't know what it Flowers and shit. I see the flowers. Flowers could be better, but they're not awful. But just this face. That, that's... That's terrible. Oh, I'd cry daily if this was my arm. Oh, me too. Holy crap, me too. Oh, look, another... Oh, someone took Dia de los Muertos too far. Yikes, that's what that reminds me of. It's a it's a it's a it's a it's a Mexican tradition. Celebrate the dead. Well actually they celebrate their life. It's 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 something like that. That's mm. That's a uh, good lord. The thing I guess we have to remember is even if it looks like crap, that person may still love it themselves because it could represent something that you know nothing about and have no business knowing anything about. So yeah. no matter how bad it looks, just know that sometimes these people don't regret these and they're fine with it, you know? And yeah, I agree with that sentiment. However, that doesn't mean that we can't criticize. <laughs> it really doesn't. There's nothing wrong with that. It literally couldn't affect you or me any less. It's True. just fun to go through and go, whoa, yeah. what the hell happened? But I would never say that to the person. I don't want to make people feel bad. They've heard it a thousand times before. I guarantee it. And not to mention, not to mention, this face is a female face. At least I think. But the hair is so bad and the hair is so fucked up and not done correctly that it doesn't even look like hair. It looks like a beard. Looking like a fucking caveman when it should be and just like a female with like long straight hair, I feel. I think. But instead, got fucking neck beard over here. Oof, that's rough. To the person. I don't want to make people feel bad. They've heard it a thousand times before. I guarantee it. Yeah, Elaine, Day of the Dead. Y'all have never heard that? Uh, Dia de los Muertos. It's 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 a Mexican tradition, holiday slash uh, celebration type thing that they do, and uh, uh, 
yeah, it it's a thing that and and that's exactly what it reminds me of. Till death do us part. I love him till death do us part. Uh, I mean, matching tattoos can be fun sometimes, but. Oh, the lining on all of this is very bad. Very, very bad. Uh, very, very light hand up here. Very, very heavy hand down here. And then same thing with her. Or same thing with him. Very, very light hand on the top letters. Very, very heavy hand on the bottom letters. And... Uh, I love her till death do us part. Did you do this to each other? Wow. The Incredible Hulk. His face gets me every time. <laughs> oh, it honestly also kind of looks like the hands are somehow flip-flopped. I don't know. It's very weird. Ting baby from the future. Yeah, that's odd. Dog tits. Good band name. Oh, you dip. Okay, then there are some tattoos that absolutely. There's no way this could have any special meaning to this person. Doesn't. There's no way. I refuse to believe for one second that this dude asked his buddy, because that's definitely not a real artist, to tattoo dog tits on him because it meant something special. That's too expensive. I have a friend that can do it for less. No, the sh you don't. Don't ever do that. Don't look at that tattoo. This was in the thumbnail. And yeah, the one on the left, phenomenal. The one on the right. Tattoo on the left. That is freaking incredible. That tattoo should cost whatever the hell the artist wants, mm -hmm. okay? My giant stupid sleeve that I've got on my right arm has so far cost about $900, and we're not done. I feel like I'm getting a deal, dude. Kobe and Nipsey tribute? Yeah, I guess. Uh, I mean... Nipsey looks like Nipsey, but man, you fucked up, Kobe. <laughs> you fucked up, Kobe, so bad. Good lord. Local wannabe celebrity artist did a guest spot at a local shop. Absolutely atrocious. Oh my god, that is not good, dude. Oh my goodness! I mean, honestly, it looks like there is a style that is going on here. It, 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 the way it looks seems consistent. Some of these tattoos, I feel like the artist should be paying the customer to tattoo them, not the other way around. <laughs> it's not like each one of these looks vastly weirder than the next. I mean, they're strange subject matter, I guess, but there's a style that he's keeping consistent-ish. This artist's- Yeah, shitty line work. That's the style comes across my Facebook feed daily. Quite the treasure trove. Diddy World. Oh, man. That's rough, buddy. It hurts to look at. Stay Jesus. true. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that. Look how crazy she looks like Cruella DeVille. Jesus. She, she looks like she's about to take you to court for... For, for for fucking assault and you didn't do anything. Look at the look on her face. She's got that me too look on her face. Like, mm, I'm about to get you. That's... <sighs> oh, man. That's rough, buddy. It hurts to look at. Stay true. Yeah, man. See, those are going to fade really fast. When it comes to parts of your body like your fingers... They don't seem to stay. I mean, they'll stay, you know, for the most part, but the edges. They'll stay like, OK, so for my hand tattoos. From this far away, can you guys tell that I have red inside of my hand tattoos? Look. Can y'all tell that there's red? Because there is. There's red inside of some of these letters. Can y'all tell that there's red? From y'all's angle, from y'all's perspective, look at my hands. You'll tell? Exactly. But there is. See what I'm saying? These so of that are gonna fade like a mother. <laughs> the hell is this? Gonna need a cover up for this cover up. 
That's a cover up. Met a, saw a dumbass in the military, but my 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 first duty station, he got high five tattooed on his palm. So he literally got high H I G H and then the number 5 tattooed on his palm. And I was like I can't believe you did that. And he's like, why? I was like, because one, that's stupid. And two, we're in Europe. Do you know what this exchange rate is like, bruh? You, like, you're paying out the ass for fucking tattoos in Europe. Way more than you're paying here. And especially for the exchange rate, being an American over there getting tattoos... Friend bought a tattoo gun on Amazon for a hundred pounds. Tat I don't want to get petty, and I don't want to get picky. But it annoys me when people call it a tattoo gun. It does. It's not a tattoo gun. It's a tattoo machine. That's. It's not a gun. It's a machine. That. I'm getting caught up in semantics and I'm being petty, but ugh, it kind of annoys me. Fox, what's going on, man? I, we haven't seen you in fucking ages. How have you been, man? I actually DM'd you on Discord a couple days ago. Yes, ignored me. But I get it. You've probably been busy, man. I hope you're doing good. Tattoo Darth Vader on himself. <laughs> okay, but that's... That's actually funny. <laughs> That's actually... <laughs> Is it shit? Yes. <laughs> Is it bad? Yes. <laughs> but I can get behind that. That's you, you, you can't take that too seriously. You know what I'm saying? It's just like... <laughs> it's awesome though, right? Like, come on, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that short, fat Darth Vader, dude. I know, dude. And like the crate, like... Look at the look at the lightsaber. That is that is not nearly the accurate length of a lightsaber. I'm I'm not a Star Wars nerd by any means, but lightsabers are definitely bigger than that and longer. So it just makes Darth Vader look fat in here because there's no distinction between his body and his and his Cape, whatever the fuck is back here, his little leather back flaps, whatever the fuck he has. So, it just looks like a Darth Vader that has just been at Krispy Kreme for a millennia. That's awesome! <laughs> Look at that short, fat Darth Vader, dude! Exactly. Vapor Wolf. Man, vaping isn't just a... Uh, wow, that's that's not good. That is not good. Like it, it just. Oh man, the tats. The the artist did not do a good job of blending in the vape with the wolf. Man, it literally looks like you had a wolf tattoo, and then someone came in and just slapped a vape tattoo on top of your wolf tattoo. There's no blending. There's no kinds of like shading. There's no kinds of like you know melding it into the rest of the tattoo and making it look like one. This is just two tattoos that, at first glance, I don't even know what the fuck it could mean, really, to be honest, but. The part of your personality, it's now an actual permanent part of your body, bro. My awesome Star Wars tattoo. That could be way worse. Look at what we- That could be way worse. And you know what? I'm not even mad. It's like, yeah, that could be better. Seen today. I didn't know that Jack Skellington had wiggly eye sockets. Huh? I, what? I'm confused. Anyway, doesn't matter. I'm gonna go get more tattoos. Ordinary dish soaps can leave invisible grease behind. Oh. Do you guys want to see my most shitty tattoos? Fox, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for hanging out for all of like, you know, 10 seconds. And I'm glad you're alive, man. I'm glad you're doing good.
We were all worried about you. We hadn't seen you in a while. Uh, uh, bruh, my worst tattoos, mind you guys. I did these myself, okay? Uh, let, me, let me actually... Hold on. Show you. My worst tattoos. Fuck, man. It's bad. It is bad. <clears throat> Check this out. Oof. Hold on. <sighs> See that? I'm a huge fan of The Flash. And to be completely honest, bro, it's not as bad as, as you would think. I, 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 I tried to do, like, the red... I didn't have yellow, so I couldn't color in the lightning bolt, and I ran out of red, so I, that's the only red that I could do right there, uh, and it gets worse, okay? Hold on. Next. Mind you, the ones I'm showing you, I did by myself, okay? I did on myself. Okay, so right here... Right here, we have a three-eyed pan. We have a three-eyed panther, which I did upside down because I'm an idiot. I don't know. I, I I told my buddy, my buddy in Afghanistan. I was like, just draw me something, and I'll tattoo it on myself. He drew me a three-eyed panther, so I tattooed a three-eyed panther. And guys, for someone who has zero experience and no fucking knowledge of tattooing. I don't really feel like I did terrible. So fuck you, I'm proud. And then obviously I got the Batman Superman symbol because that's like that was like hella easy for me to do. The stencil was easy. The the drawing was easy. And again, for someone who has no experience, I feel like my line work isn't too completely fucking awful. If I practiced, I could get better. Um but I didn't have any color so I couldn't color it in. So there you go. Those are my worst tattoos. I did them myself. And I'm super proud. It was great. Come to Colorado, my sister will fix you up. I mean, I've been wanting to actually get those tattoos, uh, fixed and like done and like you know not even covered up bro like i actually want a tattoo artist to go in there and fucking do some shit to the panther and do some shit to the batman superman symbol and then do some really dope shit to the flash symbol um and the only reasons that i did them on my thigh i don't know if you guys have ever tried to tattoo yourself before but your legs are pretty much the only place that is feasible to tattoo yourself. Uh, you try to tattoo yourself on your arm, you have to like, you have to, you have to squeeze, you have to like tighten the skin, man. That's how the needle goes in. You have to tighten the skin for the needle to go in. Otherwise that needle is just gonna bounce off your skin and it's not gonna do anything and it's not gonna penetrate and you're not gonna get ink inside of your skin so you have to like squeeze the skin and tighten it up and then do that so with my thigh that was easy because i just took it and i with my left hand i i, I tightened my my skin and like spread it out and then tattooed that's not easy trying to do it like on my arms or like on my chest or you know ain't doing it on your fucking back that's for fucking sure so uh, my favorite, my favorite tattoo of mine is probably, I think this one right here, my, uh, my wings and then family is forever right here. Uh, this is my, this is my favorite tattoo. My least favorite tattoo is mm, actually this one right here and I have to get this one covered up. It used to be, I don't know if I can say it. It used to be a set of lips. It used to, you can see the, like, you can see, you can still see the red 
right here. It used to be a set of lips. Uh, my first ex-wife, she like put on lipstick, kissed a piece of paper, and I got that tattooed right here. So then uh, me and that stupid whore got divorced. And then I got married again, and I never learned my lesson. And I got another tattoo. And I got the lips covered up with the new wife, which her first name started with a B. So, Queen B, right? So, I have to get this covered up at some point. I absolutely despise this. I just don't know what I'm going to do to cover it up. And it's so close to this tattoo that I don't want to get anything too fucking crazy here because then it distracts from this. And I don't want that. So, yeah. I actually haven't gotten any tattoos in a couple of years, man. It's actually been a couple of years since I've gotten uh, any tattoos. And it's not that I don't want any more. It's just that I always, like, I always procrastinate or just, like, I'm lazy about it or I just don't want to go to the shop or I just, like, don't want to go and fucking look around or I just don't want to think of, you know, stuff like that. I do want to finish up, like, my sleeve right here. This, all this. Like, I do want to finish all of this and, like, go all the way up and then connect to the, connect to the eyes. I probably won't sleeve this up. Probably, I'll probably just leave this, this as is, like, on this arm. But this arm, I'm probably just going to sleeve it all the way, all the way to the top to my shoulder. And then I'm covering... I'm covering this, because that's retarded. I'm leaving this, so I'm going to have to work around that, because that's my sister's name. And then, yeah, that's, that's about it. Also, I'm getting rid of this at some point, because that's also stupid. Uh, but aside from that, I'm only sleeving one arm. I'm going to leave the other arm as is. Uh... And one thing I should have done from the very beginning is I should have gotten a sleeve from the very beginning, because... It's kind of annoying now, like when you look at me, right? It's kind of annoying, especially for my right arm. Like if I want a sleeve on my right arm, I'm going to have to work around this. I'm going to have to work around this. I'm going to have to work around that. I'm going to have to work around that. And that's just a pain in the ass, man, because now I'm limited as to what I can get and what I want to get and what I can get. Because I'm having to work around things instead of it just being an empty canvas. And that's kind of annoying. I, I wish I would have just gone with a sleeve right off rip. And it's just like now on my right arm, I just have like just different tattoos and different plate. You see what I'm saying? And I'm not getting rid of this. It's my sister's names. The names that I have, I'm not getting rid of them ever. That's, that's, those are family names. But this shit right here has to go. That's, 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 that's gotta go. I'm not, I'm not keeping that. <sighs> my ex still has my damn name on his arm. Hey, that, that, that really wouldn't bother me. I told the, I told the ex-wife, at least the first one. Um, uh, I don't think she got a tat, but... Had she had a tattoo of my name, I wouldn't have cared if she kept it just as long as she got rid of my fucking last name legally. Like, bitch, you ain't worthy to be a motherfucking falcon. Get, get my name off your fucking name. It's embarrassing. So the whole tattoo thing wouldn't have bothered me, but I definitely was a, was a, was a stickler for the fucking... Because she went like a couple of months with my last name. Even after we were div like divorced. And I was like, bitch, take that shit off. You don't fucking deserve it. You ain't goddamn worthy. You're the worst goddamn addition to this family that we've ever fucking seen. <sighs> and your blowjob sucks. Uh, how about something for your niece to cover up the X's? I go with that. My dad got my niece's uh, baby footprints on his back, I think. And they look really good. They're very well done. 
uh he got her little footprints um like like dude like i think not too long after she was born he got her little footprints on her back but i don't know man for this i don't know what the fuck i can do here guys like i just really don't know like even if i did something for my niece what could it be you know what i'm saying i don't know that's why and then every time i want a tattoo I'm just like, okay, I want a new tattoo, but at the same time, I want to get this covered up. So I'm always like in this like limbo of like, I want a tattoo, but I want a cover up. I want a tattoo, but I want a cover up, you know? So <sighs> maybe have her pick something. No, she's going to pick some shit like fucking My Little Pony or something. I don't know. I'll wait till she gets older. She loves Ninja Turtles, so I may do that actually. She is in love with Ninja Turtles. She's just like your boy. I was in love with Ninja Turtles too as a kid. Uh, I actually watched a couple episodes with her this morning. The the Ninja Turtle for kids, like like kids, kids, like little toddlers, not like the regular Ninja Turtles. I maybe get some Ninja Turtle shit here. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. Or actually, you know what? Now that you said that, Kevin. I could turn this into a sham shield. Oh, shit. I could turn this into a sham shield. The E4 rank. Oh, I like that idea. I like that idea because I was the leader of the E4 mafia in my outfit when I was in the military. Yeah, I could turn that into the sham shield. Maybe. Maybe I can turn it into the sham shield and at the very top of it, I can put, I can put, I'm on appointment. <laughs> that would be great. That would be great. Turn it into the sham shield and on top be like, I'm on appointment. Oh, that would be hilarious. <clears throat> Sounds like Caillou. I fucking hated that cartoon. So boring. My, I, I had to watch that because of my sister. Mm, and if you go through with getting a sleeve, uh, oh, and if I go through getting a sleeve, it will be on my left arm and more than likely be the Legend of Zelda related because that's my favorite. That would be a dope tattoo, Legend of Zelda shit. Very, very colorful, very, very, uh, lots of stuff that you can do, lots of cool imagery and shit like that, yeah. I hated Caillou, yeah. Pretty much, uh, anything that the youngest sister liked, I hated. And then me and the, because I have two sisters, I'm the oldest of all my siblings, uh, I have two sisters and a brother. And um, the 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 oldest of the sisters, me and her like the same stuff. My youngest sister, I didn't like anything that she fucking liked at all. She loved Dora the Explorer, and I fucking despise Dora the Explorer, bro. Uh, she liked Bob the Builder. I hated Bob the Builder. Um, what's another one? What's another one? How about Raphael swords added onto the sleeve tattoo? Ah, uh, no, I mean, no, man. man I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. And you guys know, man, I haven't gotten, I haven't gotten a new tattoo in a while. Like, it's been a couple of years since I've gotten a new tattoo. Uh, and it's just because I'm always procrastinating, really. Always procrastinating. You know what tattoo was like really irritating? It didn't hurt and it wasn't it wasn't all that bad. It was just really irritating. This one. Man. This one. My anarchy symbol. This one was irritating, man, because like it's it was so close to my Adam's apple that it almost felt like he was tattooing my throat. Like it it the needle felt like it was here. 
but it was actually here. So when he was tattooing me, like it felt like he was sticking the needle in right there and it would just vibrate all the way up. Man, that shit was irritating. I was like, <laughs> I don't know. I I fucks with I fucks with Ninja Turtles, but I don't know if I wanna uh I don't know if I wanna tattoo that. I don't know. In time, we'll see. I just I'm always procrastinating, and it's just like, oh uh, man, I got I and I'm so indecisive too. You would think that as 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 much tattoos as I've got, that I wouldn't be indecisive when it comes to this shit. But I'm very indecisive when it comes to this stuff. I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you know, I'll come back. I'll come back tomorrow. Now I'm going to go check out another shop. Uh, I'm going to go online and look at some pictures. I'm going to go to Google and look at some images. I want to see if I can, you know, mesh some shit together. Uh, let me see if I can find someone to draw me something cool. Uh, let me see if I can. Uh, let me see if I can. Let me see if I can. And it's just... I end up never getting tatted. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. <clears throat> Ladies, settle down. Jesus. Okay, that was fun, man. I uh, I enjoy. I enjoy uh, I enjoy bad tattoos, man. At least I enjoy seeing them. I wouldn't enjoy having one. Although this one right here that I had, like this one. You can see it. I need to do something with this. I need to get this relined. I need to get this reworked. I need to get this reshaded. I need to get this just everything, right? Uh, I just I, I need to do something with this and especially this rose right here. This rose is starting to fade. I need to do something with that. So <clears throat> uh, Hold on give me a second Lord. <sighs> oh, terminated DM me. I'm live terminated. But I'll be on Warframe after the stream. If I get an anarchy symbol, it's gonna be on the earth. On yeah, because yeah, because you're terroristic, country girl. That's why. Okay, we 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 got to we got to continue because if we don't this stream is going to turn into like low key some softcore porn and we can't have that not on YouTube. They're too much bitches. Yes, country. You are. You are. <clears throat> you definitely are. Like, if 
If you had it your way, country girl, you'd destroy the whole fucking planet and then be upset afterwards, like, well, what do I do now? Everyone's dead. I'm all alone on this floating rock. I, I guess I'll just go hang out with some caterpillars or something, I suppose. Yeah, that's not fun. Yo, Quack, what's going on, man? How goes it? How are you? Happy Saturday. I hope you're having a good weekend. I hope you're having some good weather. Better weather than we are. Not really all that bad. It's just fucking windy. My ass is cold. Not my ass, my hands. <sighs> Should I get a spawn tattoo or a Batman tattoo? I, I I think they're both fantastic characters, but don't ask me those kinds of questions. It's your body. It's your body. D do not take my advice. And do not take... Take what I say at face... Do not take what I say at face value, man. Take it with a grain of salt. It It's your body. Whatever you want to do. I like Spawn, and I like Batman. So if I... Yeah, so... Don't ask anyone. Ask yourself, especially with tattoos. Weather is great. It's spring. Where you at? Where you at? I mean, I know it's spring, but eh, fucking. <clears throat> I think it's fucking windy everywhere. Yo, Captain Rex, enjoy the game. We'll probably still be here when you come back. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. mm. Alright. Fail army. Mm, just the one eleven thirty one yeah it is fail army and it's titled I hate my family crazy hilarious family moments <laughs> uh, we can all relate we've all been here especially if you have siblings. Sucks for all of you that were... That were an only child. That, I, don't, I, I don't know what fun you got into, but... Man, me and my sisters... We would fuck with each other so hard. And then we grew up and we started fucking with our parents. Really, really hard. They hate it now. Like, they absolutely hate it now. Because we're adults and they can't ground us. They can't send us to our room. They can't do shit. They just gotta take it. Really. So anytime me and my sisters get together, oh bro, we're fuck we we fuck with our parents so bad. Bro, one time I took the cap. I took the top uh, I took the, the cap off of a beer bottle. And I set it on top of my dad's head. My dad's bald. I set it on top of my dad's head. He didn't really realize what I was doing. I set it on top of his head. And I slapped the top of his head. And I don't know, like, if you know, like, that the, the ridges on the side of a, of a beer cap on a beer bottle. I slapped the top of his head so goddamn hard, bro. And for, like, a day, he had, like, the imprint of like a beer cap on bottle like on his head he was so mad bro he was so mad how old was i 27 <laughs> 27 
Oh my god, he got so mad. He got so mad. Uh, he was like... <laughs> he was so angry. Mmm. Mira, cabrón! Ven acá! Te voy a dar una fucking pela! He tried to chase me around the house, but man, he ain't catching me. I'm fast as fuck, boy. So, uh, yeah, he was angry. He got over it, though. Yo, Roth, what's good, dog? How are you? <sighs> Barely got up. Your ass was up early today, dude. Your ass was at work. Your ass was working at like three o'clock this morning. I want to get my first tattoo and make it like a tribute to my family members that served in the military. Both grandpa served in World War II and had an uncle in Vietnam and uh, one in Iraq. That would be dope. That would be good. But like I said, when we were just watching that video, uh, whatever tattoo artist you decide to go to, uh, ask to see their portfolio. Ask to see their work. Ask to see their stuff. And if they don't have a portfolio, I wouldn't trust it. If they don't have anything that they can show you, I, I wouldn't let them tattoo you, man. Really. Not to mention, when it comes to tattoo artists, word of mouth is very, very important for a tattoo artist. Man, word of mouth. Like, bro, that's fucking sick. Where did you, like, who did that? Oh, it's that, that guy over there on 6th Street. Just ask for Jason, right? Word of mouth, man. Works really, really good for tattoo artists. So just, uh... <sighs> Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it smart, man, really, for the most part. Ask to see their work, uh, see what they can do, see what they're capable of. Uh, and, if, and if you think that they're not capable of doing what you want them to do, then don't let them tattoo you. And bro, they're not going to be angry. There's going to be no hard feelings. They're going to be like, okay, it's cool. Find another artist, or I can recommend you to another artist, or we might have another artist here that might be able to do what you want, right? Because at the end of the day, it's your body. It's your body. It's forever. And uh, you're, you're marking yourself, man. So you should never take these things lightly. Too many people take tattoos very, very lightly, like it's no big deal. Don't do that. <clears throat> You have, you have four brothers? I knew you had siblings, but uh, you're the only girl? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, dude. Luckily, uh, I got blessed with a brother, um, but I, I, I grew up in a house full of females. Really. Like, when I was growing up, it was uh, my mom, both my sisters, my aunt helped raise me. My aunt is like my second mom. Um, and then my dad. That was it. Oh, and then the dog. The dog, the dog was male. But aside from that, man, it was just me and my dad living in a fucking sea of estrogen. And uh, shit got dicey sometimes, bro. It just did. Growing up with sisters... Growing up with sisters, but at the, but but at the same time, had I grown up with a brother, man, me and him would have came to blows so many times. Would have been crazy. <clears throat> but because I grew up with sisters, and because I was always around females, uh, it really actually did help me out with. The ladies, like you would think that it was, it was, it was fucking awful. And sometimes it was, bro. Sometimes my sisters, they would do shit and I wouldn't be able to retaliate because my dad would always tell me, he's like, I ever catch you laying hands on your sisters. I'm going to beat the fuck out of you. 
And uh, sometimes I would lay hands on my sisters because they would fucking try me, bro. They would fucking try me. I, I can call her. I can call my sister in here right now. She'll fucking tell you. They would fucking try me. We would scrap. Um, but like some, like sometimes, man, they would do shit and they would say shit to me, and I would just have to take it because my dad was there, and my dad didn't play that shit. He's like, "You're not gonna put your fucking hands on your sisters, like ever." Not around me, God damn it. And if you want to put hands on somebody, you can try me. And I guarantee you, you ain't going to win. And so, yeah. <clears throat> but no, me, me, and, me and the 27-year-old, I think me and her, we actually physically scrapped more than the younger one. The younger one and the older sister... They scrapped all the time, bro. It was WWE in my house with them two girls all the fucking time. And I would just be on the couch with some popcorn and some Pop-Tarts and some Vienna sausages. Just fucking hell yeah. My money's on Harajina. I got this. Hell yeah. About to watch this. This is my entertainment for the rest of the day. Hell yeah. Do it. Kill her. Kill her. Grab her hair. Grab her. Headlock. Headlocker. That was, that was me where I'd be instigating and shit. <laughs> I got an awesome brother. Went and had lunch with him on my birthday. Went bowling. Had a couple shots. Uh, he got some pre-rolls and a thing of THC gummies. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <sighs> My brother is 12. And I bet you're wondering. XMC. How old are you? Fucking 34, dog. Who knew my dad still had it? Yeah. 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 Fucking around with these young ass bitches. <sighs> and then... The bitch that he got pregnant I went to high school with and I fucking hated her in high school and I hate her now <laughs> like I really do like I hate this broad bro he owes me $800 or an iPad either one I don't care and guess what one of these days I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get my payment I don't have the time to go into the particulars and the details, but one of these days, I'm gonna get what's mine. Little bitch. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. I hate my family. Crazy, hilarious family moments. Fail Army. <laughs> mom, mom, I'm sorry, mom, mom, you mom, did that to your mom? Oh, get your ass whooped. Get your ass whooped. That's actually crazy that he said it was meant to be for dad. You got some balls on you if you're going to do some shit like that to your dad. And my dad would have whooped my ass, bro. <laughs> my dad would have whooped my ass. Yo. Oh, no. Are you serious? Are you serious? Yo! Wait till she goes to sleep and cut her hair. Nah, 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 nah. That was his sister. That was his sister. Uh-uh, uh-uh. No, sir. No, sir. You take my hair, I'm taking yours. And I guarantee you, you care a lot more about your hair than I care about mine. But I'm still mad, and I'm petty, and I'm vindictive, and I'm vengeful. So, don't go to sleep. Don't go to sleep. Don't go to sleep. I'm oh, I seen this clip. I seen this clip. And this dad is about to destroy this kid's PlayStation and his TV and all his shit. This is great. This 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 is this is I love seeing shit like this. Good old fashioned discipline. You don't wanna fucking you don't wanna listen, huh? You you, you wanna fucking be a little jackass, huh? You don't want to tell you what I want you. You don't want to take out the trash. You don't want to cut the grass. You don't want to do your chores. All right, 
Bet. Check this out. Came in there with a sledgehammer. Bye. Yes, sir. He's sick of it. Mother and daughter. <laughs> Mother and daughter. Oh, damn. Yo, that kid's got a swing on him, doesn't he? You play too much. That is hilarious. That is hilarious. The crash test dummy. <laughs> He's like, bitch, you can't drive. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, I think these, I think, I think these are brothers. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he's the son and that's the dad, but maybe they're brothers. It's one of the two. <laughs> and this was in the last video that we watched, yeah. Mami, te llamo por teléfono, coge. Habla ahí. ¿Quién habla? Habla. ¿Quién habla? Venga, te digo, me recojón. Pendejo. Oh, <laughs> Lindsay. This on top of that, right there. All right, let's go. Hey, mom. I need to talk to you. <laughs> She's mad, and you're grounded. <laughs> oh! Oh! Damn. <laughs> what a good sister uh, i'm guessing that's his sister man or like his cousin it's family i'm not gonna uh, it, it, it can't be like his girlfriend or anything bruh suck up dude come on man it's not that painful it really isn't, dude. It... We were just talking about tattoos, too. Sack up, homie. Come on. It ain't no way. It... But then again, pain is subjective, and I mean, I got a high tolerance for pain. That doesn't mean other people do, so I mean, sure, bro, but I mean, goddamn, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Man. Someone put his phone in the spaghetti. Soy sauce. <laughs> How's Yo. practice going, Jeff? Good. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks to you, my charger's not charging on my iPad because it's got used to your iPad instead of mine. It's not charging my iPad and it's all your fault. I hope you're happy because I've told mom. <laughs> Little girl, I don't think that's how it works, but still, that... <laughs> She's like, you will rue the day. You will rue the day. I have already informed mother, and you will be hearing from her and me and the family dog. Ya bitch. <laughs> I hope you're happy because I've told mom. <laughs> 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 
I shook myself. You what? I shook myself. <laughs> Come on, you don't know? Keep going, keep going. I shit myself. Say it louder. I shit myself. <laughs> she didn't get it. Oh, it's gonna be an egg. Get her. <laughs> Got her. Got her. I've seen this. <laughs> the brother. <laughs> the brother. He's like, he's like, holy shit, honey. You're ugly. <laughs> Oh, the fuck fuck games or just Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> the shenanigans. <laughs> Got her. <laughs> Ladies, you play with your brothers, you're bound to get hurt, so be careful. There's always going to be collateral damage and 9 out of 10 times it's usually you. <laughs> Somebody ate my jambalaya. Who in my shoes, Abigail? Can't blame me. I don't know who did it. You or your brothers or sisters ate the damn jambalaya. The one thing in the world that I love to eat. I'm I love jambalaya. I really do. And somebody in my shoes. Yeah. Oh, hell oh. no. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> why? Why? I cannot stand you. Oh, man. She's mad. <laughs> Y'all are both grounded. God damn, this is thick though. Stop! Oh, stop! stop. <laughs> I can wipe this away faster than you can smack my hands. You ready? I know it's gonna happen here. I know it's gonna happen here. This is great. Let go. Like, yo, 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 uh, <laughs> why do y'all never let go? Let go. How was it? Oh, it's his sister. It? Welcome back from prison. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, got him. That was clean. Look what I got here. You're gonna give her a damn heart attack. <laughs> I have never seen this much earwax come out of my ear. That's phenomenal. Yes. You guys about 15 minutes. We can get candy after this. Look at the camera. Aaron, I can't even see Aaron. Aaron's over it. Oh, no. Nope. I'm out. I got really good video. Damn. Don't worry, you can screenshot it. <laughs> Something I would do to my kid. Yes, I'm trying to
bring it. I'm gonna die. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. He was right. can't breathe, that's why. Why would you leave the lawnmower right there, Kenan? Sorry. You really left the lawnmower right there? That's the, that's the nicest way of saying, you fucking dumbass. <laughs> Where'd you show up? Don't trust your brother. Oh. <laughs> Did you do that on oh, purpose? Yeah, it kind of yeah. felt like it. Don't do it, Richie. I hate this. Don't do don't it. Worry. Just let's right. take me home. It's going to be all right. No, it's not. Richie. Oh, are Stop. we in a Mustang? Stop it. Stop it. It's a cop. Don't, don't. Stop it, Richard. Stop. Stop it. <laughs> Mustang Camaro. <laughs> damn. La quinceañera is ruined. That's fantastic. <laughs> <It's> fucking with dad. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? That's just unlucky. Hey, babe. Hey! Damn. <laughs> New drywall. <laughs> she looks so serious. I just said that Angus. What? I didn't say anything. Oh no, his name is Angus. Damn. That's gotta be his girlfriend. Now she's got CTE. <laughs> oh, dude. One thing I used to do as a kid in the backyard is in the backyard, uh, so we grew up with a pool. I think we were the only house in the neighborhood that grew up with a pool um, or that had a pool. Uh, there was a neighborhood pool, but they didn't really upkeep it too much. And it kind of went to shit. <clears throat> and we had a pool right, ne right next to the pool was like this little, like kind of like doll house that was like made of wood. And it had been there since before we moved in. Um, but my sisters played in there and they treated it like their little dollhouse slash castle slash little place to play. And right next to it, there was a hammock. And right next to that, there was like, it almost looked like a carport. And there was like a whole bunch of weight sets there. And on the other side of the backyard, like on the opposite end, was uh, just open grass, open yard. And uh, the, we had a shed. And so I would go back there when they were playing in their little castle, their little house or whatever. And I don't know why my parents let them play in that, 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 that thing. It's so many splinters and like rusted nails. I'm surprised they never had to get a fucking tetanus shot. Uh, it wasn't really safe, but you know, fucking 
you grow up in the fucking nineties. And so they're back there playing. And what I used to do for fun is I used to get this machine that I used to use for baseball practice. And, uh, this machine would shoot out baseballs, right? And I would use this machine to practice hitting. The machine would just shoot baseballs. Uh, and it would shoot baseballs at a moderate speed. However, if you put tennis balls in it, because tennis balls are lighter than baseballs, the tennis balls would shoot out at an incredible speed. And so I would go to the opposite end of the backyard, and while they were playing, I would literally just shoot tennis balls at them and try to hit them. And I think one time, Regina, I, I caught her in the eye. And caught her in the eye. She fell to the ground, started crying. I didn't want to get in trouble, so I went over there, consoled her. I was like, it's okay, it's okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Look, the ice cream man's on his way. I'll get you something, come on. And I bribed her with some ice cream. She never told on me. I used to do that shit for fun, bro. I used to just like fucking sling tennis balls at them for fun, uh, just to try to hit them. And the littlest one, sometimes she would play along and she'd try to dodge this shit, but eventually she got sick of it too. She's like, I fucking hate you. Stop doing this shit. And so, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, Leon, you should definitely try jambalaya. It's fucking fire. And for me, the spicier it is, the better it is. The hotter it is, the better it is. It's, 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 it's great. It's absolutely great. I could literally eat it all day, every day. <clears throat> no, I had, to, I had to bribe them sometimes. Uh, I think the one time that I... The one time... The one time I put my hands on my sister. <laughs> I, I did it several times because she, she would put her hands on me. Um, but the one time um, I was, I think I was like, I was like 14. Four, nah, I was like 15. About 14, 15 years old. And uh, I had a girl come over. You know, there was a, a neighborhood girl that, that lived in the neighborhood, and uh, she was, like, my girlfriend, you know, at the time. Uh, matter of fact, I don't even think I was 14. I think I was, like, 12. Matter of fact. I think I was, like, 12. This neighborhood girl that came over, and uh, her, mom was, her mom was a police officer. Her mom was a cop. Uh, really, really nice family. Really nice girl. We dated, like, from, like, I want to say like fourth grade to like seventh grade or so I, it, that doesn't matter um she came over and all of a sudden i'm i'm in my room and i had to keep my door open cuz that was the rule i had to had to keep my door open uh, so she comes over we're just like sitting on the bed talking uh, just d d doing what fucking 12 year olds fucking do 13 year olds do uh and we're just like hanging out or whatever and then my sister comes in and I'm like, get out. And she's like, no. And I said, get out now. I don't want you in here. And she says, but why? And I said, you've been treating me like shit this whole week. Like, you've been treating me like complete fucking ass this whole fucking week. You've been mean to me this whole week. You've cocked an attitude with me this whole week. You've been talking shit to me this whole week. You've wanted nothing to do with me this whole entire week. And now that I bring a girl over, all of a sudden, we're, we're best friends? Nah. Get out. And she said, make me. I fucking gut checked her in the stomach. I straight up just reared back, bald fist, and gut checked the shit out of her. Took her like 15 minutes to tell on me because she couldn't breathe. But once she finally could breathe and stop crying, she told on me. And uh, my dad came in there and was like, Amanda, go home right now. 
you outside. Go cut the fucking grass. Go out there. Do something. You're grounded for a whole damn month. And uh, that's that. That's how it was. That's that's how it was. <sighs> but um, yeah, that's that's how we that's how we were, man. Really, and my relationship with my sisters today is absolutely great. We don't hate each other. We definitely don't compete with one another. I I, I never saw uh I never saw a, a a need for that. I see a lot of siblings that compete with one another, and me and my siblings aren't like that. Um. And that's just the way we grew up, man. We butted heads, we fought, we scrapped, we hit each other, we talked shit, but, you know, it's kid shit. It's teenager shit. It's fucking child shit, man. It, 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 it happens, right? If you have a sibling, you know what the fuck I'm talking about, all right? So, uh, and our rela my relationship with my sisters now is absolutely great with both of them. Love them, they love me, we never... Uh, I mean, we'll still talk shit to one another. We're not above that, and we still do that. And we still annoy each other. But as far as, like, the little dumb bullshit and, and arguments and scraps that we would get into when we were kids, we don't do that shit anymore, man. And we damn sure don't compete for anything. Like, who's better? Who's this? Who's that? I, I, I see a lot of siblings that do that. And it's just like, eh, nah. See a lot of siblings that are just that they're trying to compete with their other siblings, like, uh, like as far as like, uh, as far as status, as far as friends, as far as money, as and for some of you ladies, as far as marriage. My ex wife, bro, she competed with her sister for fucking everything. Well, my sister got married. Why am I not married yet? When are you going to pop the question? My sister has kids. When are we going to have kids? My sister's doing this and that and this and that and blah, blah. I'm like, oh my God, live your life and fuck your sister. Who cares, man? And that's just like, that's just, that's, that's something that me and my siblings don't do. We never did it. We never, we never saw a need to do it. So. <sighs> Yo, Candy, have a fantastic day. Have a fantastic rest of your Saturday. Have a fantastic weekend. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you so much for chilling. Uh, I truly appreciate you. <sighs> oh yeah that was and, and yeah that was and i didn't make up that name on the spot no that was the name of my first girlfriend when i was a kid amanda <laughs> uh she's currently in prison yeah i think i think maybe she got out i don't know man embezzlement uh Grand Theft Auto, uh, wire fraud, uh, breaking and entering. Uh, yeah, those were, those were her things. Which absolutely blows my goddamn mind seeing as how both her parents were police officers. <laughs> Crazy. But sometimes it'd be that way. I was born in 84. The 80s had the worst clothes, hair, cars, and music that was ever made. What do you mean? I mean, I, I, I can agree to an extent with that. I can agree to an extent. Uh, I, uh, well, actually, no. I, I was born in 89. I didn't... I didn't really see much of the see much of the clothes or the hairstyles and all of that stuff in the 80s. I was born at the tail end of the 80s, so grew up in the 90s. And the ugliest thing about the 90s that I remember were those matter of fact, we were just talking about this uh yesterday <laughs> uh on on voice chat and Discord. We were playing video games. Uh, the ugliest thing I can remember as far as as far as clothing from 
the 90s was the Birkenstocks. Y'all remember the Birkenstocks? We have since, humanity has since transitioned to the fucking Crocs as far as that goes. But y'all remember the Birkenstocks? Those were, uh, good God. Look like you were wearing chicken nuggets on your feet. <laughs> That's what they look like to me, bro. They look like fucking really, really brown, overcooked chicken nuggets. One good. Windbreaker suits? Uh, I didn't really see too much of that in the when I was growing up in the 90s. Windbreaker suits. That was more of an 80s thing, I feel. The windbreaker suits. Everybody, remember Fila? Remember Fila? Holy shit. You guys remember the, the, the windbreaker suits and like the, the, the jogging pants and the jacket that, that had Fila, right? Y'all remember that brand? I, that, I don't even think that exists anymore, to be honest. Fila? Uh, that was a thing. That was a thing. Uh, as far as the as far as the the nineties go, as far as dress wear, um, I uh, I wore Jinko jeans. Uh, I shopped at PacSun back before back before PacSun is what it is right now. Um, PacSun used to be the shit back in the day. I don't know what happened. Um, yeah, that's. And then, obviously, I, I grew up, like, middle to kind of middle-ish, lower-ish class. So, like, a lot of my clothes came from fucking JCPenney. And, uh, that's it. Yeah, really. JCPenney and fucking Walmart, man. We got a lot of clothes from Walmart. A lot of shirts, a lot of jeans, a lot of shoes. Actually... Not back then, it was Kmart actually where we where we would go get clothes sometimes. <clears throat> Just saw a dude on Twitter win fifteen hundred on a two dollar slip. All his winnings went to unpaid child support. You know where that money's going, right? You know where that money's going, right, Drake? That money's going straight to the fucking hair salon. Mm-hmm. Straight to the nails. Straight to the heels. Straight to the club. That's where that money's going. Child support? <laughs> yeah, right. None of these ladies support their fucking children these days. All that child support money doesn't even go to the goddamn kid. Got a closet full of heels, but you ain't got no fucking milk in that refrigerator. It's crazy. Yeah, that's what it is. That is what it is. All right. I wonder if David's in here so we can watch his because this one's really not even all that long. This is only like a minute and a half. <laughs> Jesus. I just got fucking lightheaded. Yo, I'm so hungry. I can't wait to eat. David, are you here? I hope it's... You know what? We can actually... We can actually do... We can actually do David's. Because this is on YouTube, bro. This is going to stay public. He can... He can watch the... He can watch this shit later. I'm going to go ahead and do his. <clears throat> Usually, I don't like doing these without the person that requested it here, but... When it comes to YouTube, this is going to be available after it's over, and y'all can always rewatch it. And on YouTube, you have the ability to rewind something that doesn't exist on Twitch. Hmm. 
Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Wise Spade 7, and this is titled F Everything. You know what? Fuck everything. <laughs> hey, I've been there. I've been there. Fuck everything, bro. I've been there. Sometimes I get in a mood. All right, here we go. You know what? Fuck everything. Fuck this filthy food. Fuck those little Hershey kisses that look like they're made out of shit. Fuck that rice. Fuck your tight jeans. Fuck that bucket. Fuck the dusty bike in the background. <laughs> fuck his peppered gray hair. Fuck your fingertips touching every grain of rice. Fuck the fact you're scooping that with your bare hands. Fuck the forbidden mashed potatoes. <laughs> fuck that stupid pathway that you have to walk to carry your food. <laughs> fuck the lack of IQ. Fuck those open toes. Fuck the fact that you decided to wash your hands over the food. Fuck your little hidden shop that's underneath the train track. Fuck your poverty solar panels. Fuck that shiny hair. Did you know if you Google the second highest rate of incest, it's India? Out of that first place is a tie between Libya, Pakistan, Afghanistan, and Iraq. So yeah, fuck that shit. <laughs> fuck that cool one. That kind of looks like mayonnaise. And fuck it if it is mayonnaise. And fuck me. Hey, my man, and fuck it if it is mayonnaise, because I can get behind that. After I, I, Out of all the things he said, I can truly relate to that one right there. Fuck mayonnaise, and fuck the person who invented it. Fuck you, fuck your family, fuck your ancestors, fuck everything about you. I hate you. I wish you had never been born. Fuck mayonnaise. I, yep. I, I feel it, bro. I really do. In my bones. Like. <laughs> okay. Fuck it if it is mayonnaise. And fuck me for having to sit here and watch this shit. <laughs> fuck those deadlifts. <laughs> fuck the fact that your vagina's squatting over all the food. What if your water broke? Fuck that. These poverty peeps. Fuck the fact you took your shoes off. Now we have bare feet. And it looks like you're making a batch of clone troopers. Fuck that too. Fuck the overgrown area in the background. <laughs> Fuck the black tarps. Kinda sounds like a derogatory term for people. Let's start calling them black tarps. Fuck this job, I wouldn't last two minutes. <laughs> Fuck the pay because you know it's horrible. Fuck the village. Fuck the country. Fuck the work plan. Fuck that- Since we're here, what is that? What are they making? I don't know what that is. Bark. Fuck his toes. Close your shirt up, nobody wants to see your fucking chest. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck this slow ass process into cooking this. Go get a furnace and stop being poor. Fuck that rusted side of the shed. At the end of the day, everything here looks like it sucks, and I'm glad I'm not a part of it. Fuck that. <laughs> oh man, that was that was great. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> this video probably got demonetized, but that was great. <laughs> I really can relate to fucking mayonnaise, though. I fuck mayonnaise. I hate mayonnaise. If you love mayonnaise, that's fine. Good on you. But fuck the guy who made it. Fuck the guy who made it. I kind of wish he was still alive so I could throw hands with him. Fuck that guy. Man. Seriously. Seriously. <laughs> Let's see what the comments say, because <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's there's someone in here that got mad. Uh, I'm glad this type of humor still exists. People think, take things so seriously. Exactly. <laughs> this guy is testing the limit of YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised this one's not age restricted. And the fact that if it isn't age restricted and the fact that I've had videos that have been age restricted and I haven't even used profanity in those videos is bonkers to me. Uh, notice the overwhelming sense of inner peace in his voice. I know, right? For someone saying fuck everything, he was very relaxed. <laughs> fuck me for having to sit here and watch this shit. <laughs> Go get a furnace and stop being poor. <laughs> oh, this is great, man. This is great. <laughs> I'm glad shit like, dude, like that guy said, I'm glad shit like this exists on YouTube because this is definitely a breath of fresh air. 
everyone's afraid to be like this. And I and, and man, we've all had those days. We've all been in those moods. We've all had that bad week. We've all had that bad month, man. Or maybe you just wake up in a bad mood like I do. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes, actually all the time, I wake up, I'm not in a good mood. I'm in a fuck everything kind of mood for the first two hours of me being awake. So, I'm subscribing. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. I can get behind that. I really can. Dumplings, what about it? Uh, what's his name? Duke de Richelieu in 1776. Invented mayonnaise. Fuck you, Duke. I hope you rot in hell. I truly do. I... Mm -hmm. I hope you rot in hell for what you did to this planet. I hope you rot in goddamn hell. Because because of you, I stopped going to fucking Burger King because you know what Burger King does? Burger King will put mayonnaise on your shit by default. You have to say no mayonnaise. And who the fuck just puts ma <clears throat> To be fair, mayonnaise back then was on par with what they had. I don't give a shit. Fuck that guy and fuck his whole lineage. Yeah. Because of him, I now have to say no mayonnaise 50 fucking times anytime I go to either a restaurant or like a fast food place or something like that. Uh, back in the day when I used to eat a lot of fast food, I don't eat a lot of fast food anymore. I know that I fucking, I, I picked out on some Chick-fil-A like two days ago, which completely fucked my life up, by the way. Um, But... Because of that guy, I always have to say no mayonnaise. And guess what? They still put it on there anyways. And it angers me. It irks me. It's the most gross fucking condiment on the planet. Puts me in a bad mood. It does. Just thinking about it makes me gag. That's it. <clears throat> I just... I can't. I can't. He was actually... He was actually being funny. Right? He was actually probably doing some... That, all of that was probably lighthearted. For me, when it comes to mayonnaise, I am not lighthearted about it. It genuinely irks me. Fuck that shit. So fucking disgusting. Fucking disgusting. If you like it, good for you. Good for you. <clears throat> but I'd rather reach inside of a fucking random sewer and eat whatever I pull out of there than eat mayonnaise. So... I just cannot. <sighs> what it makes me do. It's what it makes me do. Uh, okay. We gotta keep going. I'm fucking hungry. I think I might just eat on stream, really. Here in a little while. Uh, Roth, are you still here? Check out some uh, unsubscribe clips from the unsubscribe podcast. Uh, uh, Donut operator on the dangers of untrained 
police officers. I should have typed that in before I went ahead and said it. Now I'm gonna have to fucking say it again. Hold on. Oh, I actually have to type in. Yeah, here we go. It's time. <sighs> All right. Donut operator on the dangers of untrained police officers. This can go for really anything, not just police officers. Uh, this can go for military. This can go for uh, doctors. This can go for, uh, hell, even your goddamn mailman, really. Uh, but yeah, it's very dangerous to have untrained police officers. But I mean, hey... Uh, all you spineless pussies wanted to defund the police, so guess what you get? You get untrained police officers, and then they do stupid shit, and then you continue to complain, and then it's a vicious cycle of retardedness. So, uh, have fun with that. Congratulations. I'm glad you're stupid. Um, and yeah. Let's see. <laughs> have you seen the, the female? Yo, Ian, what's going on, man? And I appreciate it. You cut your own hair? I used to do that back in the day, back when I gave no fucks, and I would just cut all my hair off. Mainly when I was in the service, I would do that, because fuck paying for a haircut, man. I just go into the bathroom, get the clippers, do it myself, call it a day. So. The, the female police officers mag dumping into the apartment yet? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a gnarly one. Uh, what it, happens, Cody? I think it was in Houston. Um, this it was a uh, sheriff's okay, department, right? Is, it's yeah, I think so. sheriffs, yeah. There it's, was a yeah, a lady, a lady came to the door with a gun because like she was staying there or lived there. Yeah, yeah, she was staying or she yeah, well, her friend lived there and she came to the door with a gun. She didn't even get to the door, open the door. But the female officer saw her through the window coming to the door with a gun. And and again, I don't I don't know the build up to this. I haven't looked into it very much, but these female police officers just start mag dumping. Like the one Reload. of them reloads, mag dumps, reloads again, shoots I, more. I pointed out yesterday one is one handed firing. Yeah. From the yeah. angle in the video. I can't the, decide. She was I'm, gonna be honest, I'm gonna be honest. I'm less offended about the one hand firing them than I am of the grip that the other one had. Yeah, because okay, so oh, it's, yeah. in the, it's in the this. same frame. So left, the one on the left. Yeah, I haven't I haven't seen this clip either, and I don't know the build up to it or the lead up to it. Um, however, you know. Did these did these officers even know what they were shooting at? Huh? Did they even know what they were? I, I am not going to discharge a firearm unless I know what I am shooting at. Unless I can see what I am shooting at. Man. I'm not going to just start pulling the fucking trigger and be like, ah, maybe. Ah. I, I hope I'm aiming at the right thing. Nah, but but again, I I haven't seen the clip. I don't know the context. I don't know. I don't know anything that that, that lead ups to this. So, uh, and shooting with one hand. I I know that I I know that. Uh, fat electrician just said he ain't offended by it. I am. You're a professional. You're not a fucking gangster. You ain't no fucking rapper. You ain't not one of these dumbass fuckers in Hollywood movies. And you're not John Wick. Okay, hold your weapon properly, you stupid ass. Uh, she's mag dumping and then goes one-handed. And then the, the, the female officer we're looking through, the, the blonde, she, um, she's got her thumbs crossed on a Glock 
and is just like mag dumping too. This, this, it's, you don't you, do that. You go like this. <laughs> this is a proper G man. If I can show that, like Punch that, in. not this, because the slide, the slide comes back. You get slide by it. Not good. And this mm -hmm. isn't shitting on just like. This is not like girls. This is this is like day one shooting. This yeah. is day one shooting. It's also like what you preach, which I fucking love. It's Cody's in, indiscriminate when it comes to that. Nah, it wasn't. It wasn't the Acorn Cop, but I mean, one could one could consider one one could consider this to be somewhere in the same realm of something like that. Listen, dude, if you're too afraid to do the job. You need to quit. If you spook easily, you need to find a, a new line of work. If you scare easily, you need to find another profession. Man. Really. At the end of the day. And... Shit, you're like, if you're a bad police officer and you're doing that, go fuck yourself. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It's one handed. I don't shoot one hand. <laughs> like, Nobody does, except for these little fucking fuck boys out here that think they're gangsters. And you know, and, and I'm talking to you. And, and and if the shoe fits, wear it, bro. I've seen you doing like this, doing like this. That's why y'all never hit anything, bro. And that's why cops fucking kill y'all's asses because y'all be shooting like this and y'all miss. And because cops actually have training, not these two bitches. Because cops actually have training and they know how to shoot. That's why they kill y'all. Because y'all don't know how to shoot. Because y'all watch too many dumbass rap videos. So, I mean, it doesn't work, man. It's never worked. I, was, I think that was on her third mag or her second mag, too. She's just like, do, 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 do. And you, because this is all you see. And she had a call for more ammo, yeah, it's damn it. <laughs> it's whipping around. Yeah, shooting. fucking no recoil control, no nothing, man. And you're like... Because in the army, marine, I guarantee everyone that has served, if you have shit bags, you you do not. Yeah. Oh, they'll take away motherfuckers' weapons. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're gonna go guard the chow hall. <laughs> yeah, you are yeah. not going near yeah. the front line with a PT belt. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Even when I was a cop, we made fun of people so much they would just quit. That's great. Like, I noticed that when I did, and I don't want to interrupt your flow with this story. No, this is perfect. I spent that uh, week out there in West Texas covering the the p police department out there, and I I did. That's one thing I did observe uh, was that no one's more. Because I get sick of this excuse from police officers. Oh, I feared for my life. Then why the fuck did you join the force? I get it. I understand to a degree, but why the fuck did you join the force? Oh, I feared for my life. It's a scary world, and you do a dangerous job. You do one of the most dangerous jobs. And there's no room to be a bitch. And there's no room to be a pussy. And there's no room for cowardice. So if you're going to exhibit this behavior, get the fuck off the force. You're going to end up killing somebody, or yourself, man, or just going to jail. On top of that, in the process, making other good, uh, making all the other good cops look bad. So, uh. critical of cops and other cops. I've 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 watched a lot of senior cops. They were they were quick to point out who they thought were shit bags in the department. Well, hey, yeah, we we if, brought, if, if I can speak highly of you, it is one of the, my favorite things for you is you call that shit out and you get. For whatever reason, it is this idea that you are like, you just side. It's like, no, Cody's, you give, when they do an amazing job or an officer steps up to the line, you, you'll fucking, you're like, hey, this dude did the proper thing. Here's the due diligence. Here's the background story. Here's everything. But Jesus Christ, if they're shit bags, bro, like you, a nut guy, female cop shooter, shooting a dude, you are like, go fuck yourself. Mm -hmm. Do we, we had this one kid one time speaking on, um, we brought them down to, I, I worked uh, third shift in my department, so I worked at night. So sometimes you're bored, you don't have anything to do. We brought this one kid who had just joined. Uh, we were, we're always trying to training, train. We're always, we're always training, we're trying to get better. Mm -hmm. We brought this one kid down to the basement of the police department just to do some training, mm -hmm. like basic grappling and jujitsu, whatever. And uh, <clears throat> Sam, what's going on, man? Did jujitsu a lot, told this kid, he was like, all right, arrest me. 
He's like, what? <laughs> like, arrest me. Like, this kid had already been a shit bag. He'd already done some other shit that, like, was retarded. And um, my buddy told him, arrest me. Just go ahead. And he wasn't even fighting back hard. Like, my buddy was just, like, standing there. And uh, he couldn't get him into handcuffs whatsoever. And he, uh, he quit the next day because he couldn't get my buddy into handcuffs. He was like, shit, maybe I'm not... Maybe I'm not cut out for this. To be in this line of work. Exactly. I'm not cut out for. I guarantee your buddy was just like. He wasn't fighting back. He was just like, put me in handcuffs. It was just standing there. It wasn't a big guy either. He was just like, no, I do it. Put me in handcuffs. And because that's the guy that like, has your back, you know, every fucking call you go to. And you want them to be able to put someone in handcuffs. He couldn't get them into handcuffs. And you're only as strong as your weakest link. If you can't shoot, I don't want you as my partner. I don't want you on my squad. I don't want you in my platoon. If you can't move, I don't want you. If you can't communicate, I don't want you. Man, I don't. I don't. You were quite positive. You were literally the definition of fucking worthless, man. And a liability. A liability, man. What is the point of you? You can't shoot, you can't move, you can't communicate, you're not strong, you're not fast, you're not limber, you're not agile, you lack the stamina. What is your purpose? Get off the force. Get out of the service. Get out of whatever line of work that it does. Prime example, the acorn guy. He saw the writing on the wall and he was like, man, he resigned. He was probably like, I can't do this anymore, man. I probably can't do this anymore. I've been doing this for way too long. Uh, this is just, I'm either going to hurt somebody or I'm going to hurt myself. And that's not good. And that's not fair to the force. And that's not fair to my partner. And that's not fair to other police officers. So I'm just going to step away. And good on that guy for doing that. But there's others that... So you want somebody that, as you said, has your back. They can like, hey, Jaden, what's going on, man? I hope you're good. I hope you're having a. I hope you're having a good, uh, a good Saturday. We always stream on YouTube on Saturdays. Okay, for those of you that don't know, every other day of the week we stream on Twitch. Uh, but Saturdays is always YouTube. Hey, if something happened, like I can carry you. I can carry you. I can carry you. Don't want to. I can do it though, no problem. You could have carried uh, definitely like marine weight me. I could carry you now. Oh, I don't doubt that. I, I, yeah. stay in, I stay. You're in, in good decent. shape. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm saying marine weight me. Hell's breach. I have. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you talking about PayPal? Or are you talking about uh, uh, super chat? Super chats work, uh, and PayPal definitely does work. Uh, people have definitely used it. Uh, people use it quite quite a bit on uh, Twitch. I, I, you may have something wrong on your end, man. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. <sighs> oh, but as far as hold on, let me check something, just to make sure that it's not entirely me, because I actually haven't put any notifications. For donation for donations on YouTube because I just don't stream here all that much. So let me check. Oh uh, yeah, no. I didn't see anything. Let me check my phone. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It did. Okay, you know what it is? You know what it is, Hell's Breach? I don't have any notifications turned on for donations. Okay, so thank you so much for the three. You want to request something uh feel free and thank you so much man i really appreciate it i'll fix that before uh the next stream uh the 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 notifications for paypal work perfectly fine everything works fine on twitch it's just like i never brought myself to like really do much of like all of this extra shit like i do on twitch on youtube because i only stream here once a week i'll get that fixed though i appreciate it man it should have showed up right here, but it did not. It the, at the very least should have showed up right here. Uh, so if you're in the Discord and you want to uh, request something, go ahead. I got some mods in here that can help you out. Uh, or not, you can just put it in chat. It's up to you. <sighs> 
it would have been a lot easier. Oh, yeah. I'd be like, Jack, I got you. And I run out like this, my arms locked out. I'm like, good to go. Jaden, have a good one, man. Jack, now? I'm like, Jack? Yeah. Okay, it sucks. Yeah, I feel this tomorrow. I'm gonna bitch at you. I'm gonna bitch at you the entire time. Yeah, while well, I'm just like repeating. Oh yes, we're absolutely doing that. Hell's breach. Someone actually requested that. I, I, I responded to a YouTube comment the other day about that video. We're gonna do that at some point. Yes. Eating Matt Foley impressions in your ear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But that's the thing you're saying. It's like, these are the dudes that have your back and you want them to be able to have your fucking back at mm -hmm. the end of the day. And if Absolutely. you can't, go Thank away. You, that guy quit. Yeah, yeah, fucking thank God. Jesus, that was an ordeal. Uh, like, this is going to sound... Uh, this is going to sound a little bit harsh. And this might sting a little bit. You might flinch a little when I say this. But if I was a police officer, and especially when I was in the military, I did not want females next to me. I just didn't, man. I just didn't, dude. I didn't feel comfortable with you man you're not as fast as me you're not as strong as me and most of them couldn't shoot as good as me i need you to shoot as good if not better man you're not as fast you're not as agile you're not as strong and you are very very easily overpowered and especially in the world of policing if i was a police officer I would not want a female partner, man. I wouldn't. It just wouldn't work for me. It just would not, man. Because, like he said, try to arrest me. Try to arrest me. None of you can, man. None of you. You, which is probably why y'all mag dumped into that damn apartment. I wouldn't want you as a partner, man. I can overpower every single one of you. None of you can get me in handcuffs and I will get away from you 99.9999% of the time unless... You have a male partner police officer standing right next to you. So, so let me give you a situation. Let me give you a situation, right? You got two suspects. You got two suspects, right? You got a male cop, got a female cop. This cop dealing with this suspect. This female cop is dealing with the other suspect. This male cop is, is fucking up this sus. It, it's going good, right? Everything's going fine, right? Even, it, even though he's fighting, he's still subduing him. He's not getting away, right? Took away his weapon, so, like everything, right? But the female officer, what if this guy's stronger, huh? What if, what if this suspect takes away that female's firearm? What if this suspect takes away that female's taser? What if this suspect completely knocks her the fuck out? Now, it's two suspects and one officer. Now, this male officer that's dealing with this guy is probably more than likely going to get blindsided by that suspect that just took out that female police officer because guess what? It is not hard. And it will never be hard, man. All of you female cops, y'all have zero chance of getting me into that car. Y'all have zero chance of putting me into handcuffs. Your only way is to shoot me or tase me. That's it, man. And I've seen so many of you, 
So many of you get overpowered, get your gun taken, get your taser taken. I've seen civilians have to come and help you, man. And if that's the case, what is your purpose? Man, that's not good policing. You're putting yourself in danger. And not to mention, another damn civilian has to put his life on the line to come help you when you should already be able to do the job on your own by yourself, man. So, I don't know. I don't know. You're only as strong as your weakest link, and I don't like weak links uh, because you slow me down. You slow me down. Man, that's it. At the end of the day, you slow everyone down and you make everything awful. Really. And. Uh, how's Acorn Bro holding up? Have you guys talked about Acorn Man? Oh, yeah, no, we yeah. talked about it last podcast. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to reach out to him. Like, he, that, fu yeah. he fucked up. Like, that yeah. was a fuck up right there. Some people. David, what's up? We actually just got done watching your video and that shit was hilarious. I'm sorry that I watched it without you, but you can always rewind because it's YouTube and you can always watch it later because this stream's not going anywhere. Un unless, unless YouTube gets mad at me. 17 times in a row. Yeah. <laughs> 17, yeah. Well, Dude, I'd love to do one. a reenactment of the guy in the car. <laughs> 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 fuck, 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 go, go. Yeah. It's literally Guy Ritchie, there I was. <laughs> he has that slow motion, rounds are flying next to his head. He's oh, like, yeah. <laughs> On top of that, what Ashley said, and this is, this is one reason why I was always opposed to uh, females being in infantry. It's a conflict of interest to have males and females in infantry. I'm not saying you can't be a soldier. I'm not saying you can't serve this country. I'm not saying you can't be in the military. But for you to be on the front line with other men, it is a conflict of interest. Men, males, biologically, have a natural instinct to protect females all the fucking time. Whether you like it or not, whether you think so or not, we all have that natural protective instinct to protect a female. So, for instance, a female goes down and there is a possibility, no matter how small or how high, there is a possibility that that male soldier is going to compromise his safety or compromise the safety of his squad or compromise the safety of his platoon. And he quite possibly might make a bad decision or a bad choice because he's acting out of instinct. If you are a male, and you go down, chill there, little buddy. I don't know where that sniper shot came from. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna pull 360 degree security. We're gonna wait it out. If you die, that kind of sucks, bro. But we're not about to get picked off one by one. With a female, soldiers, men, whatever, they will do stupid shit to protect you. They will do uncharacteristic shit to protect you. That's why I don't, I was, I was, I, I've always been opposed of y'all being in infantry, man, because you cloud our judgment. You cloud our decision making. And this is combat. We don't have time for feelings and this and that and anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. No, this is war. Man, this is survival. I don't have time or the patience for any of this little bullshit that you're talking about. Female empowerment and all that. No, man, no. You might not like it, but it's the cold, brutal truth. Yeah. <laughs> They're passing, deflecting off of each other. He's just like, oh! 
<laughs> well, do, you, do you see the female officer in that too shot also? Yeah, yeah, because she didn't know what was going on. Yeah, and he's like, they're shooting at me from the car, and she starts mad. We are going to do more Mike Burnfire, Hell's Breach. Uh, I just, uh, have we, I don't know if we've done anger management. I don't think we have. So, I am done to do that. Let me get done with this. We can do some other stuff. Dumping two into the car. Oh, God. Oh, Which her is like, for her, because he does say, I'm hit this. If you were like, this is happening, I'm going to fucking shoot wherever Cody Slightly said. more. Oh, we have? Okay, well then, uh, Hell's Breach, just another Mike Burnfire video. It really doesn't matter. I love his videos. I love the military campfire stories. So just uh, whatever you got, really. More understandable. Yeah. yeah. But it's it's suppressing Cody, fire, like, where maybe. were you hit? <laughs> Cody, where were you hit? And he's like, oh, it wasn't hit. I was like, where's the gunshot at? <laughs> bro. And I'm like, exactly. I just, yeah, I'm like, like, I would have I I wanna... drawn and been like, I, I want right, to. I want the shots at. <laughs> I want. I want a skit of you being the boss, asking questions and having to get explained to you what happened. At this point, he said, "I was shot. Where were you shot? I wasn't. I just. That's what I want. I want you to be the sergeant asking these two what happened." At this skit. moment, his legs hurt. That's because he's did two combat rolls and scraped them gently on the pavement. God, that guy. Yeah, I don't. I don't know oh. what's gonna happen with that man. He moved. I mean, he told her your team. Person in the car is getting paid. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be realistic, oh, yeah. he could just go to another fucking agency and just be a cop again, mm -mm. which is terrifying. Which mm -mm. is terrifying. Mm -mm. I I don't know how that's a fucking rule. Imagine but, but you're in the we'll army and you're like, well, fuck, I fuck <laughs> you just up go here. and join the Marines. I'm going to the Marines. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's how you just like walk yeah. over the Marines. No. I'll tell you this though. At least you know they'd love him in Uvalde. He actually fucking shoots. <laughs> <laughs> he was saying that they would love him in Uvalde because he actually pulls a trigger. He does, he, he does the things. Yeah, he does the cop thing. Yeah, <laughs> but no, it's just like like the defund the police movement got so heavy a couple years ago. Yeah, the uh, the requirements for being a police officer shot down, and so they're just Nobody trying to hire to a lot of people. This is the can. same for the military going right now because uh, we're at an. Jack, did you know this? Right now for the Navy, you don't even need the GED to join. No shit. Honestly, I don't hate that rule. But uh, yeah, well, opinion. anybody can be a You joined, mate. no, Jack, how many fucking retards did you have in basic? You were during the war. Oh, there was, I You did it. it just, mm, no, I get it. it. Well, no, but I'm just saying because they, you don't have to have a GED, <laughs> but you still have to have a certain ASVAB score. That's yeah. my point. Yeah. Do they? Yes, yes. There's still ASVAB requirements. Yes, there is. So like that's their that's their reasoning of like, <laughs> oh, well, you know, if you can still get like, what's better? Would you rather have a dude that graduated from high school with a ASVAB score of thirty nine, or would you rather have some dude that dropped out when he was sixteen, but he's got an ASVAB score of seventy eight? Derek, why'd you take your pants off? Yeah, we, we 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 had a we had a guy. Uh, his name was Specialist Myron. And uh, Specialist Myron never graduated high school. And he didn't get his GED either. Um, he, uh, he faked it. He faked all of it, man. He, he went to a public library one day and used one of their scanners and fucking got on the computer and just printed some shit and then gave it to the recruiter and then he got in the army. That was it. He wasn't a fucking dummy. He was smart. He was a good soldier. And he was a good guy, too. He was one of my really good friends. Uh, but yeah, that's, that, was, that was the case with him. Never graduated high school, never had a GED, and that was, that was it. He was, he was, he was good. That, so, I mean, I don't know. When it comes to, when it comes to, I mean, fuck, I understand. When it comes to education, <laughs> it, it, it really is funny to me, uh, especially when it comes to education, that uh, some military branches, they're going to be like, oh, you need to have a diploma. You need to have this. You need to be smart. You need to be intelligent. But when you get into the service, they treat you like an absolute dummy and they hold your hand through everything.
and they treat you like a toddler and they treat you like you're fucking dumb and uh it's like uh okay all right but you wanted me to be smart except you know i'm i'm here now and you're you're literally you're 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 behaving like a third grade teacher during nap time it's like all right cool I can't remember what the fuck my ASVAB score was, to be honest. All I know is that I I got a decent enough score to join, really. And I did graduate high school. Did a semester in college and then decided to join the Army. Uh, and then took the... I actually took the ASVAB twice, for those of you that don't know took the ASVAB twice. I I don't know if this ever happened to you, but in uh in my hometown high school I went to, uh one time uh I think it was my so like my sophomore year of high school, uh we had a couple of recruiters come to the high school and they uh they rounded up all the students, they sent them to the auditorium and there was the this dude in class A's uh, that was talking to all the students about joining the service. About, you know, I, I don't know if it was Army Strong back then. Uh, I, I think it was Be All You Can Be or some, some shit. Talking to all the students about joining the service. And uh, the funniest part about this is that at the, at the time, I thought that the military was the stupidest job you could ever fucking do. I was like, who in their right mind would do some stupid bullshit like this? Mind you, my dad did 15 years in the service. Sophomore in high school, I was like, soldiers are stupid. Why would you do this? Why would you join this job? Why would you do any of this shit? This is fucking dumb. Man, go, go over there and die for fucking, like, for what, bro? This is, this is retarded. All of you are retarded. That's what I said. And so while we were in the auditorium, they gave, they gave us an ASVAB test. All of us, man. They gave us a Scantron, you know, those little things where you fill out the little bubbles and shit. They gave us an ASVAB test with the Scantron things and all that stuff. And I drew Christmas trees all over everything. I was like, I'm not doing this shit. This is fucking stupid. This is for fucking dummies. Who would do this job? Who would sign up for this stupid nonsense? And then, as fate would have it, a couple years later, my ass is in Afghanistan. Um, so, I don't know if that ever happened <clears throat> to you guys, but they came to our school and tried to recruit. They came to the school and tried to recruit. And as a, as a young kid, I was like, man, fuck you. This is dumb. <laughs> this is dumb and then hey where the cookie crumbles sometimes <clears throat> oh I joined the Navy so that I could get my commercial driving tickets paid for <laughs> for for next thing. I was uh, I was removing mines out of the water in Iraq. And everyone has a reason for joining. Everybody. Everybody has a reason for joining, and there's a multitude of different reasons. Uh, let me go ahead and give you my reason for joining. I. I'm no Steve Rogers, guys. I'm no. I'm. I'm not Star Spangled Awesome. I. I. I didn't fucking. I, it was. It was simply just a job, for me. I, I, it was not a way of life like it is for for other people. Um. I didn't bleed green, man. I just didn't. Um. So my reasons for joining. Was because you remember. You remember yesterday how I was telling you about that car accident I got into when I was 18 years old. Well, when I got in that car accident, I really fucked up my shoulder. 
And because I fucked up my shoulder, uh, I couldn't do baseball anymore. I could, but I would have had to redshirt my freshman year. And I would have had to actually, I don't know, try out for the team. And in my head, I thought that I was above that. I was like, I shouldn't have to try out. I know I'm better than this fucking catcher. I know that I'm better than this fucking sophomore. I know that I'm better than their starting than their starting player. I shouldn't have to try out. And uh, it was like try out or walk on or red shirt. And I didn't want to do any of that. And I was like, well, if I'm not going to play baseball, which is what I'm good at, then I don't want to go to school. I didn't want to go to college without baseball. And I didn't want to do baseball without college, right? Kind of went hand in hand for me. I was like, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do both, right? Uh, and baseball went away and I tried college. It wasn't for me. And so I decided to join the military. On top of that, there was just, there was something inside of me that really wanted to follow in my dad's footsteps because I, I always looked up to my dad and, uh, and love my dad and all that stuff. So, you know, follow in his footsteps, make him proud and, and stuff like that. And on top of that, without baseball, I didn't want to go to college. I didn't want to go to school because that was the whole point of me going to college was to play baseball. And once baseball was gone, I didn't want to do that man i just i did not and uh for those of you that are curious uh I, I was planning on majoring funny enough i was planning on majoring in criminal justice that 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 was my plan going into college i did one one semester and then and that's when i joined the service so Military rejected me on some medical bullshit. What was your medical bullshit? Because they can reject you for a lot of stuff. Back in the day, they could reject you for having flat feet. <laughs> Seriously. Don't know if they... I don't even know if... I don't know if that's a thing anymore, but... all caught up on Invincible Season 2. I need to get caught up because I saw the first couple... I saw, like, the first two episodes, and I think they took a break or something or something like that. I don't know. I need to get caught up. Yeah. Uh, Ryan with the two. Are we still good for Fat Electrician, old 666? Yeah, we are. The real question is, is do you do y'all want me to do this on YouTube or do you want me to do it on Twitch? That was a real question. <clears throat> I always stop myself and wish I never did, even though even though I don't think the military should exist. It kind of has to. Really. That's just the way it's humans, man. There's always going to be strife. There's always going to be problems. There's always going to be fighting. There's always going to... There's 8 billion people on this planet, man. You need militaries. You need armies, man. And sometimes, sometimes things happen for the wrong reasons and bad things happen. But at the end of the day, you just wouldn't, you just need it, man. You just really do. Ugh. And it's been that way forever. Since the dawn of man. Dude. Since the dawn of man, since the dawn of our species, it's kind of just, it's a necessary evil to have militaries, to have armies, to have all of this stuff, to protect your land, to protect your nation, to protect your fucking people, because there's people out there that they don't fucking like you, man. So without a military, you're just sitting there and... This group of people don't fucking like you. They just come in and completely fuck you up. And without a military, what are you going to do? Without an army, what are you going to do? Roll over and die? Give up? Bend the knee? 
Nah, bro, you fight. That's just the way it goes. That's just the way it has to go. <clears throat> Get a rattle. That one's 35 minutes. Let us get through some of the other ones first, and then I'll see. <sighs> and then we'll see. Because that one's way past the time limit, bro. But we'll see. I do want to do it. Maybe that'll be one of those things that I just hit the record button and just uh, do that. It's been years since I've actually recorded a video. <sighs> okay. Okay. Terrible panda. Hold on. Okay, this is actually a short one. Good. Oh my god, I keep fucking this up. All right. Behind COD, World at Wars, World at War, Wars first mission, Semper Fi. For those of you that don't know, uh this content creator takes uh he takes the depictions and the cinematics and the graphics that are in Call of Duty games and he gives you historical facts and or information you might not have known about what's happening in the game. I'm so fucking, I'm so fucking cold. Oh, neurobromatosis type one. It's a genetic disease that can cause tumors in my brain, spine, and nerves. I have avoided, I have avoided most of all complications with it though. That sounds shitty. I'm sorry, you have to go through that. I'm sorry you have that. That's uh Yeah, that will uh that that will quite possibly disqualify you from uh from from the service. My condition should have disqualified me from the service, but I lied. Well, I didn't lie. I just didn't I just didn't mention it. Really, to be honest. <sighs> World at War is your favorite Call of Duty game. Mine would probably be uh like the OG either Modern Warfare or Modern Warfare 2 that came out in like uh the mid 2000s. I feel like that was call I feel like that was that was prime Call of Duty prime Call of Duty right there. That was Call of Duty at its peak. The first Modern Warfare and then Modern Warfare 2. That was, uh, that's, that's, that's vintage Call of Duty right there, man. All this shit now is just, uh, it's kind of weird, really. I'm not really into it. No, Astro, country doesn't want that. Country wants to blow up the whole fucking planet. Well, 
At least Thanos had the fucking decency to spare half. <sighs> okay, Ryan, thank you for uh for being uh <sighs> Have you seen some of the vids for cannabis treatment and tumor reduction? Oh, you're talking to Hell's Breach. I would love some cannabis right now. That would be fucking amazing. All right, here we go. Why are we here and what are we doing? And first of all, before we do anything, 30K is insane. I mean, in only a few months, we've, we've managed to obtain 30,000 plus subscribers. To hey man, congratulations. Today though, let's take a trip to the Solomon Islands, specifically the raid on Macon Island. The very first mission in Call of Duty World at War, the Americans goal here was to create a diversionary raid with the aim of distracting Japanese forces and forcing them to send reinforcements, basically preventing those soldiers use in the Guadalcanal campaign. And that's a campaign that was going on for seven months and costed the US about 7,000 soldiers. Now for this operation on Macon Island, Island, the US That's actually not that bad. US wanted to deploy a special unit, commando style raiders that were made specifically for this purpose. This would be the Marine Raiders, the second raider battalion of Lieutenant Colonel Evans Carlson. These guys were going to be deployed in the exact type of operation that they were made for. On the morning of August 9th, the opportunity to put these methods to the test has arrived. We're looking at about 211. This is literally the definition of uh this is what we trained for <laughs> type shit men that are going to depart from pearl harbor on the cruiser submarines of course during the intro of this mission you can also see the two submarines that they're talking about we're now heading towards the unknown target making that toll little more than sand trees and a small japanese military base now we're entering this island with the goal of capturing a village and destroying as many vital installations as possible. It took about 4,000 miles of travel by submarine and the vessels even drove in separate zigzag courses the entire time. Eventually arriving on the night of August 16th, Carlson's raiders jumped into about 20 rubber boats early the next morning. Of course, it's not going to be super easy because you have a lot of wind and the current from the water is pushing everything. They do successfully wind Wind up making it to the beach around 5 a.m. One of the groups moved forward, capturing a government house very quickly without any resistance. The other group of guys set up an ambush, creating a fire pocket that would basically trap unsuspecting Japanese. Around 6:30 in the morning, the Japanese did walk into the trap, and the raiders opened fire at close range. Of course, in this situation, they took out most of the enemy. Now, even though this was successful, there was well camouflaged snipers that would be able to pin the raiders down for about two hours as american casualties grew the japanese surprisingly executed two bonsai charges which resulted in Shit. most of the japanese deaths so basically what you're telling me obviously is that they brought knives to a gunfight uh -huh. now, of course the raiders didn't have no automatic machine guns or anything like that they just had springfields but surely in my opinion that sounds like a horrible idea you can't really blame them though because supposedly they usually were poorly trained and armed they apparently also seen this tactic work against the Chinese. So of course in their heads this was a valid technique to use. Later on the Nautilus was not against Marines ordered to open fire on the lagoon and even unexpectedly sunk two Japanese ships. By this time, the Japanese reported the invasion to higher headquarters and air attacks were being prepared with 14 planes releasing bombs on the island for an entire hour. With nighttime approaching, Carlson withdrew in a very disorganized fashion, which me personally, I can't blame him. Bombs are dropping. You got exactly. enemy snipers get that are camouflaged. People are running at you with knives. I would want to get out of there as quick as possible. While a lot of men do make it back to the submarines carlson and his 30 remaining men move into the lagoon's entrance doesn't have to look pretty it just, it just has to happen they eventually reach what's called king's wharf and they ignite 1000 drums of eight. wow dude if this is an actual picture eventually reach what's called king's Wharf. ugh 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 I'm just like thinking about, I, 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 in my head, I'm just thinking about fighting in this kind of terrain and in this environment and then just in this specific area. This seems dreadful.
This seems fucking dreadful. Worth and they ignite 1,000 drums of aviation fuel and destroy a Japanese radio station. With bombs continuing to drop, Carlson and his men eventually do make it back to the submarines. Where Yo, August, what up, dog? How are you? I hope you're having a good Saturday. Hope you're having a good weekend. They finally start the trip back to Pearl Harbor. And at the end of the day, Carlson's Raiders suffered 21 losses, 17 injured, and even nine men stranded and then executed. So all in all, the raid did fail to divert Japanese reinforcements to the Gilberts. This is because the Japanese quickly realized how small scale this really was and didn't feel the need to send a lot of men here. Hey, hopefully you guys did enjoy the deep dive though on World at War's first mission. And Give one more time, thank you so much for 30,000 subscribers that is insane to think about and like i said on the vendetta video i'm no expert when it comes to things like these i'm learning just as well as anyone else is watching so whenever you that's actually my favorite part of his videos is that as he makes them he's learning like in the process so either uh via people dming him on instagram or reading the comment section you leave comments with information and you help me out i appreciate that yeah. because it helps me better understand and even other people that are watching can better understand with that being said though i will see y'all in the next video i mean for a failed raid the death toll i really don't feel was that crazy i mean compared to a lot of other raids in history and a lot of other battles and a lot of other wars so yeah uh, August, I'm good, dog. We've uh just been watching shit for like the past. I can't even tell how long I've been live. I don't even. I I I, I don't have my YouTube dashboard pulled up, but uh, yeah, we watched some uh some donut operator. We watched some uh what did we watch? What have we, we watched? Some fail army. We watched some bad tat. You missed that bad tattoos. That shit was dreadful. It was fun, but like some of the shit that we saw. Oof. Um, just got done watching this. The first mission of World at War of Call of Duty World at War explained. All right. Um Okay, we 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 have to we have to get this done. And random, are you here? And and for, from now on, can 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 we keep the Warhammer videos a little bit shorter? These are so long. Like I I like Warhammer lore, man. But like, I'm not a super fan, if you know what I'm saying. The next one is I've seen I've seen something about the next one actually. I don't think Fresh is here, but Drago's here. Drake's here. Hell's Breach is here. Okay. Alright. That's fine. We'll go on to the next one. Restricted World War II private snafu cartoon booby traps. I've we've we've watched We've watched, uh, yeah, let me see. <clears throat> That's if Dixie's here. Is Dixie here? Ryan, that actually reminds me of a video that we watched. I can't remember who it was by. It was uh, it was actually of my old unit, the 173rd Airborne, and it was uh, in Vietnam, and they got bombarded by uh, friendly fire. It was actually pretty catastrophic, too.
and uh, the Vietnamese didn't realize that the Americans had uh, had done that. And so they didn't take advantage of that opportunity. I can't remember what video that was. But what you just typed, what you just put, it reminds me of it. Okay, perfect. I don't think Fresh is here either, but Drago, Drake, and Hell's Breach, are y'all here? I'm pretty sure all three of y'all are. I think Rex left, but he said he was going to come back. Uh, I don't know, August, you don't need to apologize for being late, man. We're just chilling. These, uh, these, these YouTube streams are more relaxed than, than chill than, than the, the, uh, the Twitch streams. The, the Twitch streams, we, we're, we're constantly going. Uh, but these, it really is whatever we can get to. Okay. Drake, are you here, dog? I'm down to watch both of these. And hell, if if we can get these done fairly quickly, we might even be able to do that fat electrician video. But if we do that fat electrician video, I'm going to have to download this stream to my PC. Because if we do that fat electrician video, I'm going to have to edit it and then upload it. Which is what I usually do on the Twitch end, but on YouTube, sometimes I don't. I just leave it up and y'all can watch whatever y'all want to watch. Uh, Adik the one I saw that he uh that he returned, which I was very very happy about, and we watched his uh we did watch his first return video after like months, maybe even quite possibly a year or two. Uh, and then we watched the second, we watched another one, and then we haven't watched one since. So the one you're talking about is probably recent, and if it is, then no. But we watched his comeback video, and then we watched the one after, and then, yeah. <sighs> there, there's 54. Oh, then we probably did that one then. Nah, dude, I don't think Drago's here. Or Hell's Breach. He was literally just in here. Watch me, wa wa watch me start another video. Drake, are you here? What about you? <laughs> watch me start another video and then they show up. Watch. No, okay, cool. All right. We've been watching a lot of animal fails lately. Well, not animal fails, it's just been like scary animal encounters. Uh, and yeah. I didn't really need a, 
I've been very well aware that the Amazon rainforest is absolutely terrifying. <clears throat> the amount of things that can kill you. The amount of things that can fuck you up. I rode the market to the moon and back. <sighs> That's why I don't want to go. I love watching Fresh and Fit and Pearl get owned. It's not really hard. <laughs> it isn't. <laughs> it's not a. Uh, it's not. It's not really hard, man. On a scale of 1 to 10, bro, Pearl's like a 3. <laughs> a 3. At best, man. On like a really, really good day. Might be a 3, dude. And I'm absolutely convinced that Fresh and Fit have micro penises, so... They're very easy targets, really. It's not hard to shit on them. It's not hard to own them. They pretty much be owning themselves for the most part all the time. Uh, yeah, that's... Here we go. Oh my god, I still have merch to sell. Yeah, it's selling out pretty quick, but I do have some merch to sell still. It looks like this, or possibly this. Actually, it's selling at exactly the rate I assumed it would. It's really not, it's not selling that crazy. But you know, if you want to get your hands on some, I suggest going to the link in bio. Thank you. The Amazon, known for trees, the aminals, uh, selling books, Eddie Burback. All right, full disclosure, the closest I've ever come. Oh, dude, I mean, I've seen so many videos like this. Hell's Breach, uh, we watched this one channel called uh, Casual Geographic. This one, this one dude uh, that just gives you a whole bunch of facts about nature in like a very chill, relaxed setting, right? Come to the Amazon rainforest is a plate of anaconda pasta, which is just an unfortunate name for uh, shrimp and noodles. But you know what? I don't need to go to the Amazon to learn about it because I have a little thing called the World Wide Web, okay? And it's probably for the best because I cry when a mosquito bites me. The Amazon is the world's largest rainforest that reaches out across nine countries and it's two and a half million square miles of increasingly terrifying ways to die. The terrain is so inhospitable, in fact, that scientists have to fly over it and shoot lasers down into it to figure out what the hell is going on down there. Literally invented Star Trek technology instead of risking losing a boot in the mud and i don't blame them honestly and the rainforest is also famous for a river which the name escapes me for some reason it's over 4,000 miles long super fast and dangerous and packed with over 60 species of piranha which is a bad thing because when i woke up this morning i thought there was only one species of piranha so i'm just gonna and i thought it was just piranha <laughs> Gonna mull that over tonight. So together, let's take a hard look at the Amazon rainforest. Over 3 million species live here, and each one, in a relative sense, is a fucking nightmare. It is so part of the Amazon's terror is how it entices you with its natural wonders, like a sea siren or Auntie Anne's pretzel nuggets. It's got pink dolphins. It's got a lot of coffee beans. 70% of the plants that cure cancer on Earth live in the Amazon, which is a crazy fact. So you'd think this place would be magical and fun, like Disney World, but in fact, it's like Six Flags New England, aka a death trap. The animals, the terrain, and even the mafia is hunting you in the Amazon rainforest. That'll, I'll expand on that later. Number one, this the hoe is dark, y'all. It's real dark in there. The trees in the Amazon forest are thick, fatty, fatty, bombalati boys who have no sense of portion control or calorie intake. And that type of lifestyle leads to the leaves and vegetation of these trees creating some sort of canopy over the entire forest that is really thick. Wait, it wait, sounds really- wait. Hell's Breach, what happened to the Mike Birdfire video we were gonna watch? That, that, there's no way we've, we've watched all of his videos. I thought you were just gonna replace a Mike Birdfire video with another Mike Birdfire video, but this is also fine. Really cool and romantic, but it's more like a, a weighted blanket put over an elderly chihuahua, as in it's not going to live. You're going to die in that canopy. It's so dense that a drop of rain falling from the sky takes 10 minutes to touch the ground in the fucking Amazon because there's so much shit it has to go through. And the trees in some areas of the forest block out 99% of the sun. 
constantly nighttime in the fucking Amazon, which is crazy to think about. Now, I don't care what you're gonna say in the comments. Being afraid of the dark is okay. It's a natural thing. I'm afraid of the dark. I'm afraid of my kitchen at night, let alone the, the forest floor of the Amazon, which is crawling with like worms and centipedes and scorpions and shit and jaguars. Jaguars hunt at night and I can't see shit, I'm gonna die, it's terrifying. Speaking of which, number two, most of the rainforest is specifically designed to, to just harm you in most ways. It's not just the animals that you have to worry about, it's the environment. I don't think the environment is designed to harm you, I just think that we weren't designed to be in that environment. <laughs> itself which is gunning for you first off poisonous plants poisonous plants everywhere pretty much and not like the oh i'm a little itchy this poison ivy got me not that shit we're talking shit that people roll arrows in to make them poisonous kind of shit there's two main ones that are gonna fuck you up that are everywhere one of them is strychnine strychnine i don't know that kills you super quickly and the other one's curare which is such a powerful muscle curare it's a poison right Nine strachine. I don't know. That kills you super quickly. And the other one's curare, which is such a powerful muscle relaxer that your lungs shut down after 20 minutes. I thought it was a poison. I didn't know it was a muscle relaxer. But you might be cool with that. I feel like it's a very powerful drug. I don't know. Oh, there's quicksand. Quicksand comes from the Amazon, and that's a real thing. Quicksand is a non-Newtonian fluid, like that shit you made in middle school with uh, cornstarch. So when you push into it, it, it gets harder. But when you stop touching it, it's a liquid. So it's very dangerous to fall into, as you can imagine. The more you squirm, the deeper you sink, which is a bummer, I would say. And yes, if you know what you're doing, it's pretty hard to die in quicksand. But at the end of the day, your shoulder's deep in some mud that you can't get out of. And then a jaguar comes by, and you look like a delicious little cake pop. And so if the fucked. plants and sand and animals don't kill you then the rain definitely will you know the rain like bro just like imagine being in quicksand and you're like waist deep and you're trying to get out and then all of a sudden a fucking predator just rolls up any predator bro any predator you're fucked man i mean i guess I guess there is a bright side for him to fucking eat you. He's going to have to pull you out of that sand pit. So that is a bright side. You won't die from the quicksand. But, you, but you're going to get fucked up by this predator. And uh, I don't want to go. Someone just said that it's their dream to go here. That's fantastic, bro. It's a, that's a hella good dream. It's just not a dream of mine. And I'm good. I'm perfectly content seeing it on a computer screen or on TV. In the title. They weren't being sarcastic when they named this thing like Greenland. That whole bullshit. No, they were being serious when they called this a rainforest. Flooding is a huge issue. Yeah, it's funny. Greenland is covered in ice and Iceland is covered in green. It's odd. I don't know why they did that. In the Amazon rainforest. If you're distracted for even a second while you're trying to rip open an MRE with your teeth, you can just get swept away and you're gone forever. And thanks to climate change, seven out of the last 10 worst floods that ever happened in the Amazon happened in the last decade. So, you know, call your travel agent, book now. And then we have rainforest mafias, which is, I must stress, a real thing. So illegal logging is a big business in the Amazon because if there's a tree you're not allowed to cut down, there is an asshole trying to cut down that tree. Armed large criminal groups clear out huge chunks of the trees to make way for cattle, like they're making land for cattle uh, and actually 80% of deforestation happens because of these assholes. So the Rainforest Cafe's Rainforest Burger is much sadder than we all expected, which is crazy because as itself, it's a very sad meal. And the mafias are very violent and dangerous towards the indigenous populations that live there. So, so it's essentially wood pirates. <laughs> You're just walking through Amazon hell and you finally find a beautiful clearing with beautiful cattle, just know a bullet's gonna whiz through your eyebrows any second. So enjoy the image while it lasts because you're going down fast. And also there's pirates. There's also pirates on the Amazon river. They call them river rats. There's mm. pirates in the Amazon. Fuck, I mean, what, what else could there be? Ninjas, zombies, mummies? It's a fucking nightmare. Hey, you know who I trust? Scientists. Ooh, liberal. Say what you will about those nerds and lab coats, but they went to school and actually learned shit. So you gotta cut them some slack. That being said, if they can't figure shit out, you know, what the fuck's going on, right? And you know what they can't figure out? That's right, the goddamn Amazon forest. That's correct. I mean, it's not entirely their fault. The Amazon rainforest is constantly defying our conceptions of what the natural order of the world should be, so I get it. But I just thought it would be nice to go over some key concepts that scientists don't understand about the Amazon rainforest so we can all just be a little bit more scared before we go to bed tonight. Number one, you know the Amazon river is known for being big and in this Amazon? Well, get this, scientists don't agree on the source of it. They don't know where it comes from. That's what the fuck? It seems like you would 
you know, just follow it, just see where it goes. That'd be a pretty good solution to this problem. But here's the catch. There are actually three different sources of water in the Andes Mountains that all flow into the Amazon rainforest, and they don't know which one is the main source. So they're all arguing about it like fucking children. Just nerds up on Mount Science having a bitter conversation while there are pirates on the fucking river. I bet we focus on that first. I'm sorry. I, it's that really is probably why they don't go down themselves and do any actual investigation. Really. I, I think it's more for the pirates. And I think it's more just for the actual people there that can survive and will make sure that you don't. I, I think that's the real reason they don't go down there. I... Yeah, it's a dangerous place with, with fucking plants and animals and shit that can fucking kill you. Uh, but at the end of the day, you you can get a you can get anti venom. You can uh you you can carry a gun with you. You can do all this stuff, but it's it's the human factor I think is why they don't want to fucking go down there. They're scientists, bro. So. It's really late when I'm filming this. Number two, in 2011, scientists discovered Rio Hamza, or Hamza, I don't know. Now, what is the Rio Hamza, you ask? Well, let me answer that. It is a equally large, if not larger river than the Amazon River in the Amazon rainforest. And they just discovered it in 2011. What the fuck? Well, how did they miss it? Well, it was because it's located directly under the Amazon River. It's, it's a subterranean one. There's a river underneath the river. Fantastic. It's twice as large. It's twice as big. Does that not scare the shit out of you? I don't like when large flowing things are un- Not really, I, I never plan on going. For me and I can't see them and people don't know about them until 2011. That seems like a larger issue than they're making it out to be, I would say. Number three, we have another river, but this one's a little bit more fun. We're talking about the boiling river. A boiling river like they have in hell. So for years there was legends that there's a boiling river in, in the Amazon and scientists just said that's hooey. That's a bunch of nonsense and they just never looked into it. But then a geophysicist named Andres Ruzo went all Milo Thatch on their asses and went on a very long, very dangerous expedition and holy shit he found it. He found a fucking boiling river. 186 degrees. It's literally the dude from, that's literally the, he's literally the main character from Uncharted. <laughs> It's hot enough to cook an animal. So you know those mafia cows we were talking about earlier? It just walks into the woods, trying to get a little drink, falls in, and all of a sudden it is a happy meal. It is cooked thoroughly. And get this, scientists, they don't know why the water's boiling. If you if you couldn't have guessed. What a shocker. And then we have geoglyphs, which are exactly as sci-fi horrific as you'd think they would be with that name. Due to deforestation, which is dope, circular ditches dug into the earth of the Amazon have only recently been discovered uh, over the past couple years. And they look like this. So... Look like crop squares. You, you know how, you, you know, crop circles and shit like that? These are just like built in squares. Is that not, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's weird if it's natural. That, I don't really think that's man made. Who's got the time and for what, and what is the purpose? It's got to be a natural phenomena, right? The Amazon. I'm pretty sure everything's a fucking natural phenomenon. Pretty end of the worldly, I would say. Although it's unclear what purposes they serve, scientists agree that they were uh, maintained by humans, which no shit, I would hope so. This also debunked scientists' earlier assumptions that the Amazon was- Well, if it was, what was it for? That's what I want to know. What purpose did it serve? altered by humans before Europeans arrived. So that's uh, another domino for fall white people falling over. And it also showed that early civilizations were able to manipulate the land without destroying it, which once again, another white person domino falling over. We can't handle that shit at all. And last but not least, we have, you know what, actually most of it, pretty much all of it, let's be real, scientists are in way over their head. The Amazon is huge. And there's like 3 million species in that bitch. And we know about like six of them. They'll never catch up. They're discovering a new species like every fucking day. That's not even including all the plants and trees that they're fighting. They shoot a laser into the Amazon and they find like 70 new things every single time. So if you ever want to visit the Amazon rainforest, just know that you will die and the thing that killed you, well, we don't even know what that thing is. So we won't know what happened to you or what did the killing to you. So. You gotta really love nature and really be about that life to want to go here and explore and all of this stuff. Guess what? Your boy's not about that life. He's just not. <clears throat> I'm not. Sko, I appreciate it, man. And what's going on, dude? And yeah, a little bit late, but uh, it's all good. 
if you're in a if you're in if you're in Discord, you can you get notifications of me going live a lot faster than you do from Twitch and YouTube. So if you're in Discord, go ahead. And yes, Hayden, we did see the Crow trailer. We uh we watched it over on Twitch. I'm very excited. However, well, I'm excited. However, I'm I'm going to I'm going to uh not going to get too excited because it, it's it's big shoes to fill and it's a big role to carry and this movie came out very long ago and it's damn near pretty much at this point has a cult following for the most part so hopefully they don't fuck it up but i do like the casting i do, i i do like the the person that they casted to play the crow uh, I do like that it's he's not just gonna be uh, fucking up small time criminals. No, bro, he's going after very powerful people in this movie. At least that's what I gathered from the trailer, and uh, I can get behind that. So, yeah, we did. Uh, we did. We did watch it. There are legit uncontacted tribes in the Amazon. Yeah, I'm not trying to contact those people. I'm not uh, not trying to con just like I'm not trying to make contact with those what is it Sentinel Island the 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 group of people that bro you go on that island that's straight up death that they'll kill you and the, they don't really need a good reason I, I I think that's what it is right Sentinel Island it's like uh I don't want to say it's undiscovered, but right? we 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 know of its existence, but it's unexplored, and it's inhabited by a group of people that, if you go on their island, bro, they will fuck you up, man, like death, straight up death. There was uh, we actually watched the story of this one little jackass that uh went to Sentinel Island because. Do you want do do you know why he went? He wanted to bring Christianity to the people of the island. How good do you think that worked out for him? Homie died. Homie died. Got fucked up. And yes, Arkansas. It it, it well, it's not the OG one. The OG one was a little orange one that I lost and can't find, but uh, technically, yes. Yeah, little dumb bastard wanted to bring Christianity to the fucking, to the, to the island. And they were like, um, no, we're, we're, we're going to turn you into food. So <sighs> that's it. That's it. And the funny part, the, 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 well, it's not funny. Um, the crazy part about this, this kid, I call him a kid because he was only like fucking 20, 24, 25 years old, still very young. Um, the crazy part was, is that, um, his father, he was of, he was either of Chinese or Japanese descent and his father was pissed like fucking pissed and he's like i didn't raise my son with this like what what is it that they have uh their 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 religion very different from 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 christianity um he he the, the father basically claimed that the Western world corrupted his fucking son enough to where he wanted to do this stupid, dumb, retarded shit. And then he went and did this stupid, dumb, retarded shit all in the name of Christianity and got fucked up. And that's not the way he raised him. He, he raised him completely different. But then the kid went out West, learned all these things. And then, uh, yeah, I can't remember what video it was really. It was a it was an interesting video. 
But hey, you know what? Let that be a lesson to all of you that try to force religion down people's throats. You might die for it. So. And that's exactly what happened to that kid. <sighs> Uh, no, Arkansas, they will fucking throw spears at you. People have tried to do that. People have tried to give them food. People have tried to bring them peace offerings. People have tried to communicate with them. And they are not having it. They will kill you, man. You drive anywhere remotely, you, you ride anywhere remotely close to that, but you're going to get spears chucked at you. Really, and I mean, I, I, I don't know how good their aim is, but still, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing that. That's not a, that wouldn't be cool for me. That's for sure. Uh, <sighs> mm. I gotta fucking pee. All right. Um, I don't. Okay, fresh isn't here. Dixie ain't here, Drago ain't here, Drake ain't here. Technically, we could watch some of these. I really wanted to see that video of why Hopper is, fa is a fantastic villain. A bug's life. I feel like that would be great. Because, man, I haven't thought of that movie in, like, eons. Literally eons. Excited for the new Godzilla movie? Yeah, I kind of want to see it. I kind of want to see it. What was the one that came, like, with, like, God, with, like Mech Godzilla and him and Kong, like, teamed up to beat this fucking mechanized version? <laughs> Okay, random, you're here. Yeah, okay, we're gonna do that, bro. But from now on, man, I, dude, I, I, I like Warhammer, but I just don't want to watch it all the time, if you know what I mean. You know, and 14 minutes is a long time for, for lore. So we will get it done, but, like, they need to be shorter, dog, because I'm not a super fan of Warhammer. Does it intrigue me? Yes. D d d is, is the universe cool? Absolutely. And are Space Marines badass? Of course. Um, but... <sighs> like I I would much rather watch like some bomb ass cinematics or something to 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 be honest just to be completely honest with you man If it fucking shows up. Here we go. Wait. That's not the one either. I can't. I'm having a hard time finding it. Just, just his ass. I, I'm gonna have to type it in exactly how it is. Fucking finally, Jesus Christ. Okay. 
Warhammer 40,000 has the craziest, most complex and deep lore I've ever seen in anything fiction. It is literally- And I absolutely agree. I just don't have the lifespan for it. You know what I'm saying, Random? a meme in the community that trying to explain Warhammer quickly is impossible. But I actually think this is something of a rite of passage for Warhammer lore YouTube channels to attempt to explain Warhammer quickly. And so that's what I want to do with this video. I want to do my version of explaining all of Warhammer lore as quickly as possible. It's impossible. <laughs> Okay, so there are a couple of things that I need to establish here. Before there's there's more there's more lore in Warhammer than I have years left on my life, to be honest. Before we actually get into what the lore is, the first thing to establish is the character of the Emperor of Mankind. Now, a lot of other fiction has an emperor or a central imperial figure, and Warhammer is no different, but I would argue this character is the coolest out of all the other emperors. A couple things about the emperor. Number one, he's a perpetual. This means he's essentially immortal. He began with humanity a long, long time ago and has been living alongside us for centuries. He's actually recently revealed that he's Alexander the Great, or at least he was Alexander the Great. This is one of his many lives that he had, and he dies, and he comes back to life. And so because he is a perpetual, eventually he starts trying to guide humanity towards a better future. Now, the next concept we have to keep in mind is the warp or the immaterium. In Warhammer, there's another universe that runs parallel to our own, and this is known as the immaterium or the warp. And the warp is many different things. I mean, you could think of it as just a demonic dimension full of chaos gods. It's also a place that characters are able to use to do space travel. It's also a well of crazy powers and ability that allow certain beings in our universe known as psychers to be able to tap into most of the crazy witchcraft and, and powers that you see in 40k are psychers tapping into the warp and in fact it's actually explained in the lore of warhammer that in our modern day like where we're at right now a lot of the tales of different wizards and witches and magic and a lot of our myths are actually coming from real people that were able to tap into the warp Okay, next thing we gotta establish is the present setting of Warhammer 40,000 because when the game was originally conceived, it was just in the 40th millennia and there's constant war and mankind is fighting against the orcs, the Tyranids, but then the lore gets filled in with a lot of stuff that happens leading up to the present day 41st millennia. Currently, the Imperium of Man is a heavily centralized authoritarian regime. They're brutal they're fascist they destroy oh there you go country girl you would love this you would love living amongst these people you would you, you'd probably be their leader you would you 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 would have a fantastic time here country girl this is all you destroy people that won't worship the emperor they fight constant wars against other aliens they take advantage of hive worlds where most of the humans grow up as essentially slaves and they mine resources that are then sent to terra or earth the emperor himself is interred upon the golden throne it's a life-sustaining device that keeps his psychic presence alive the emperor is also worshipped as a god across the empire Imperium. The Imperium faces countless threats, both external and internal. Chaos continues to corrupt and wage war. Xenos races pose a constant danger. And the warp itself is still threatening to expand and engulf all of reality. The Space Marines, the kind of guys you always see depicted on Warhammer art, are out there fighting the good fight, defending the Imperium from heretics aliens and other enemies but frankly it's not a good time it's 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 a really dark crazy place the imperium itself technically the good guys but also kind of horrible but now let's tarantino this right Let, let's go back in time how did we get here let's first talk about the dark age of technology
This goes back to the 25th millennia and lasts all the way to the 29th millennia. During this period, humanity made extraordinary advancements in science, technology, and colonization. They developed incredible feats of engineering, interstellar travel, and artificial intelligence. They also discovered the warp and were utilizing the warp in a lot of this technology. They created these warp capable starships that allowed them to travel across the galaxies. They created terraforming technologies, which also pulled on the power of the warp. And then they made maybe one of the most important things ever, and that is sophisticated AI. So things were going great for humans. Human colonies started spreading throughout the galaxy and their dominion was massive but then some bad stuff happened first thing that happened were these things called the men of iron which were advanced artificial intelligences yeah they became sentient and rebelled turning against humanity and having a massive war this war was known as the war of devastation and it resulted in widespread loss of life the ai rebellion targeted human settlements infrastructure and military forces causing a crazy amount of destruction entire worlds were laid waste and the conflict escalated to crazy cataclysmic proportions. Eventually, humanity did destroy the Men of Iron and win the War of Devastation. But this led to a deep fear and a distrust of advanced artificial intelligence. So as a result, the use of AI and technology was severely restricted and the Adeptus Mechanicus, the religious and technological organization, emerged to preserve the control of technological knowledge. This is very similar to what happens in the Dune series, where they also had a war with AI and then swear off off AI totally. Never seen Dune. But things didn't just get better after the War of Devastation. In fact, the warp itself started going crazy in the galaxy, probably because of the advancement of all these humans and their emotional imprint upon it. A bunch of warp storms ended up cutting off interstellar travel and various human civilizations fell into isolation, technological decline, and barbarism. So basically, humans got really advanced technology spread out all throughout the galaxy. Then their AI turned on them. They had a crazy war with AI. Sky the warp net. itself went bananas, separated all of them, and all these advanced human colonies out there in the galaxy degraded into really barbaric, sometimes feudal states. This era was known as the Age of Strife, and it directly leads into the rise of the Emperor of Mankind and the Great Crusade. I love the music that he's using in this video. So the Emperor of Mankind reveals himself as this powerful psychic being that's been with us forever and is here to help us go into the future. He begins something known as the Great Crusade to reunite humanity and bring order to the galaxy. And then, because the Emperor was also a genetic genius and really good with technology, he creates super soldier beings. It's one of my favorite things about the Emperor of Mankind. He's a lot like Mr. Sinister from the Marvel X-Men books. The first soldiers he creates for himself are the Custodian Guard. They served as his personal protectors and bodyguards, and they were these massive human beings. They were resistant to psychic attacks, damn near perfect in the way that they could fight. They had incredible technology and armor and weapons. They're damn near perfect, but there was a problem. They were just way too hard to create and to replicate. The Emperor couldn't really see himself conquering all of the galaxy with custodians. That would just take forever to create that many custodians. So then he created the Thunder Warriors. The Thunder Warriors were much easier to create than a custodian guard, but they were also crazy powerful, superhuman warriors. But there was a problem. The Thunder Warriors were unstable, but the Emperor figured they were good enough to conquer and unify all of Earth or Terra, so he took part in what was known as the Unification Wars, and with the custodians by his- They're assholes, but they can do the job. 
side, he and the Thunder Warrior Army beat back all of these different warlords that were on Earth. The Emperor conquered all of Earth, but then he had him and his custodians destroy all of the Thunder Warriors. Next up was the creation of the Primarchs. The Emperor created 20 genetically engineered beings infused with incredible power and leadership. He used some of his own DNA, some of his perpetual baby mama's DNA. And he also made some kind of a deal with the chaos gods of the warp. It's unclear if he was given a portion of power from chaos or if he stole a portion of the power of chaos. But either way, he took some of the chaos power of the warp and infused it into these 20 primarchs. But the chaos gods, who for now you can just think of as these demonic beings in the warp that are watching over what's happening in the material universe. Yeah. They didn't like that he was creating these 20 immortal, godlike, chaos capable beings. And so, while these Primarchs were still infants, the chaos gods disrupted the Emperor's plans and scattered the Primarchs across the galaxy. However, the Emperor still had the gene seed from the Primarchs, which is basically just a bunch of their genetic material. And he this right here, I actually remember because a buddy of mine used to be really into this stuff and he tried to explain it to me one time. And uh, he used to like listen to to like audiobooks of like Warhammer stories and stuff like that. So this right here I, sounds very familiar. He used the genetic material to create the Space Marine chapters. And so then the Emperor had all of these different Astartes, all of these different Space Marines that are essentially the sons of these father Primarchs. And also they are essentially his own sons being made of his own gene seed. And then he goes out into the galaxy and he rediscovers each Primarch. Most of the Primarchs have become leaders of their respective domains on the different planets that they crashed on, but they all have unique upbringings, unique cultural influences, and also unique abilities. This is one of the best parts of the Warhammer lore, and it allows each one of the Primarchs to have, like, all kinds of unique attributes, and we're going to get into that, but for this video, we'll just kind of leave it there. So after discovering all of the Primarchs and putting them to work to unify the rest of the galaxy, the Emperor goes back to Terra and he begins working on the Webway. Essentially, he's just trying to really perfect space travel through the warp for the entire Imperium. But the Chaos Gods, who remember were keeping a close eye on all of this and had scattered all the infant Primarchs, yeah, well, they didn't like what was going on with the Emperor, so they start to corrupt the Primarchs. Primarchs. Horus. And I actually, I actually heard or watched some kind of video with one of my friends one day where it was the Chaos Gods corrupted this one fucking Primarch. I think it was Fulgrim or some shit. I don't know. And then... Uh, the, the, the only way that he could be defeated by, was by another Primarch or something. I, I don't know. Who was named as the War Master over all of the Imperium army was corrupted by the Chaos Gods and started a rebellion. This is known as the Horus Heresy and it happens in the 30th millennia, 10,000 years before Warhammer 40K. And even though the rebellion itself only lasted for between seven to 10 years, its ramifications were felt forever and it is the biggest part of the Warhammer lore. Horus gets about half of the Primarchs to flip to his side and there's this crazy big civil war, a lot of devastation, some chapters of Space Marine almost being wiped out completely. Many of the Primarchs are killed and it all culminates with a crazy battle between the Emperor and Horus himself. Horus is juiced up to the gills with a bunch of chaos god energy and the Emperor is the Emperor. And so they're fighting. The Emperor doesn't want to kill Horus because he still kind of thinks of him as a son. Horus is taking a- Yeah, we actually heard this. This sounds familiar. We heard this from the first, that this is actually the first video we watched, I think. A lot of shots of the Emperor, like, really doing some serious damage to him. And then something flips in the- And then all of a sudden, some fucking, some third party comes in. New challenger approaches on, on something. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's all I got. 
Emperor decides Horus is no good and he does a Kamehameha wave attack that not only destroys all of Horus's body, but it actually destroys his very soul. Most of the time in Warhammer, especially if you're a Primarch, you can die in the physical form, but your soul will go into the warp and it'll linger there. And some of them even come back to life, but there's nothing of- I could be wrong about everything I just said. I don't know shit. <laughs> Horus to come back to life. The Emperor destroys his very existence. On every level of reality, Horus was obliterated. But in order to obliterate Horus, the Emperor used all of the last bits of physical energy that he had, and it leaves his body completely decimated. He's essentially a corpse at that point, barely alive, and he's dragged to the Golden Throne where he's put yeah, on mutually assured destruction life support and from there the emperor exists being alive mostly in the warp now and this is how i remember the emperor actually from all the stuff that my buddy told me and all of the videos that he used to watch and i used to just like hang out in his room and shit and he would like watch and listen to all this stuff and i would like half-ass pay attention and sometimes i would actually listen and this right here, this particular image is how I've always seen the Emperor, really, from all the stuff that I've watched. And over a thousand psychic human beings a day are sacrificed to the Golden Throne as a way to keep the Emperor alive. And that's it. That's all of Warhammer's lore explained briefly. Now, some people out there might say that's not all the lore. There's stuff that happens even before humanity exists. And I call that heresy. But also, yeah, yes, that's that's true. And I, I will make videos on that as well. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next video. All right. It makes a little bit more sense. They're still like, I don't know, 2.1 billion different gaps in everything of what he just said because it's damn near impossible. But uh, that was helpful. Uh, let's see. It's so complicated, man, really. <laughs> it's like severely complicated. <clears throat> All right. Donut Operator uploaded a new video, by the way. Bullet Storm Shreds Hostage Taker. Fantastic. Actually, what wasn't that the one? No, that's a different one. Oh, this happened inside of a gas station. And I think he barricaded himself behind the register somewhere behind the counter. I don't know. Uh... Let me actually see what's, uh... Uh, Drake, are you still here? I asked for you earlier. And I didn't see you. <clears throat> Perfect. Wait, no, wait, what did I say? The, the, yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Do it here. Oh, this is brand new right here. <laughs> uh total idiots at work fail compilation on long how long is it 138 okay hold on perfect all right. We're all getting OSHA violations on this one. This PGA season, get more out of every hole on tour with FanDuel. 
America's number one sports book. Hold on now. Let's see what we got. Here we go. Total edited work 2024 fail compilation. Let's see. Oh no. Don't try to stop it. That's how you fuck yourself up. Just let it fall. Yeah, you probably cut yourself too. <laughs> you know that probably hurt ex that probably hurt like just a tad bit more because he's bald <laughs> oh i'm pissed off for you man i really am <laughs> Oh, there you go. Oh, what? Oh my God! Oh, there goes your work truck. Damn. Yeah, you can hear it too. Fuck. The wind's blowing hella hard. Uh, I, I think it's time to go home for the day. Good. That looks like a clip that would be on customer states. Have fun recovering any of that. Bruh. Yeah. Can you get off your phone and pay attention? There you go. God damn it, I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you mean? Why are you apologizing? She's the one of... <laughs> She's not paying... <laughs> she wasn't paying attention. She was on her phone. Bust her shit. And he's the one that apologizes? <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> there you go. Hey, you got it though. Did you get it? You got it. You got it. Hello. Is this how y'all repo vehicles in overseas? This is how. It yeah, this is that. That's a repossession, right? <laughs> Yo, that's how the, that's how they repo vehicles. Yo, why can't y'all do it the way that? Uh, at least I'm assuming this might be a repossession. Why can't y'all do it the way we do it here in America? This seems complicated, and this seems like something could go wrong and that car falls off that fucking thing and crushes this poor officer that's just like chilling right there actually no this isn't a repossession homegirl is getting towed because you or you parked somewhere that you weren't supposed to park uh but this just seem this seems like a whole bunch of that seems so much more harder than what I've seen it done in America. I could be wrong. There's plenty of room. Yeah, you got this. Yeah, you got this. There's... No, just keep backing up. There's plenty of room. You have no room at all. Yeah, you got it. feel like that was a fail i mean homegirl made it happen and it and it, and it worked and I, realistically i would have just taken the shit inside and then come back outside and shut the trunk I, I don't know what the big deal was but hey she made it happen i don't think that was a fail 
Your bike is on fire. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, and you're just still standing there too. Like your bike's not on fire. Oh, and, and now, oh wow, what? Uh, now you're, oh, now everything's on fire. Now your truck's about to catch on fire, your car's about, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Ice. <laughs> no. What were you trying to do? Were you ding dong ditching? If that's what you were doing, you deserve what you get. But I, I don't know. I don't know. Hold on. I can't tell. <laughs> Were you ding dong ditching, huh? Did you see a Trump flag and you were like, "Fuck this guy! I'm gonna ring this doorbell and run away"? If that's the case, you deserve all of this. But maybe it's a door dasher. Could be a door dasher. Oh, <laughs> Why are you in such a hurry? No. Now you fucked yourself up, man. Ah. <laughs> uh... That's one way to do it. Hey, hey. Hello. Hey, that last one wasn't a fail. Say what you will. Make your jokes. It's not stupid if it works. Hello. <laughs> Is that a potato? What? Or somebody's somebody's heart? <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't get out of the way, Grandma. That's not real. That's not real. That. That. That's not real. That's not fucking real, bro. That. I don't know. I don't know, man. This isn't. Uh, this isn't real, bro. That. That's not real. And if it is, bro, fucking Squidward has got a severely bad attitude and he needs to be put down. That... That's not real. The fuck? Yeah, nah, bro. You ready that... for another round, shooter? Ah. One, two, three, go! Like, bro, if that's real, I'm fucking Batman, okay? I, I don't believe that one. Well, I guess that's one way to heat up your- I guess that's one way to cook a turkey, I suppose. God, <laughs> thick though. I was in the last video. How are they gonna wake me up doing this? Look, he's peeing the snowballs. Oh my god. Damn. It's a good throw. My brother was just trying to fix his back. Put your phone down. You're gonna break it. <laughs> no, he's gonna break himself. <laughs> he's gonna break himself. What are you doing? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's not good. Oh shit. 
It got worse. Oh my <laughs> God, Lee. <laughs> No, no, this isn't real. You're not a real person. You're not a real person on this planet. You're not a real person. You're not a real human being. No. Yo, the power steering in this thing is fucked. Rip the power set. This thing's going to fall off. Yo, you might want to get away. Why are you pushing it like you're doing anything? Who the fuck do you think you are? Clark Kent? I was looking at this video again, man. Um pneu com três pneus dentro. Alguém sabe me explicar aí o porquê que eles fazem isso aí? Eu tava precisando aqui e pelo que eu entendi, eles fazem isso que é para pagar menos imposto, né? Isso no caso, eles colocam um três, quatro pneus dentro do outro e quando vai pagar o imposto, ele paga o imposto somente de um pneu. Mas pelo que eu tô vendo, isso aí danifica o pneu, viu? Danifica o pneu e o cara pulou em cima do ferro, assim, quando caiu em cima do ferro. Sei lá, deixa nos comentários o que vocês acham disso aí, se isso é errado, se isso é proibido, se não é. Eu acho que é proibido isso aí. Eu acho que não pode não. Wow, that looks like such a that looks like that does not look like a fun job. Like at all. Not even in the slightest. I'm guessing that there was tires inside of tires inside of tires, and that's how they removed them. And homie almost got butt fucked by that fucking situation. <laughs> oh my god, homie almost, homie almost got the Riley Reed treatment from that one little thing in the middle when he was just like straddling it. That seems like such a that fuck this job. I don't want to do that. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Some good citizens right here. That thing is about to fall the fuck over. Some good citizens. They noticed it. Protect the children. Protect the chick. Hey, can somebody stop this thing? Can somebody hit the off button? Has an off button, right? Oh, she peed herself. Oh, fuck it, bro. Christmas is over. <laughs> um, are y'all gonna let that pig drown? Or what? I mean, he's gonna get chopped up later anyways, but it doesn't- so, it doesn't matter, but... Don't Don't Walk. Let's go. To the walk. Come on. To the side walk. Let's get it. Let's get it. Stay, y'all. Right there. Yeah. You're almost there. Yeah. Right there. Almost. Go. Get it. 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 You Come on. There. Dude, if that thing snaps, he's gonna Stop. slap his Get face it. against Stop. the sidewalk, and that's gonna Stop. hurt Stop. so bad. Get it. Let's go. Like Touch it. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on! Yeah! He made it. Okay, hey, that last one, that wasn't a, my man's. He made it. How's that feel, baby? He made it. You the man! You the man! He made it. That last one wasn't a fail. You gotta end on a high note sometimes. That was a good one. He made it. Nice. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> oh man, total idiots at work. Some of these people weren't at work. But there was a lot of idiots in here. And I think quite possibly the dumbest one was... Mm, what was the dumbest one? There's got to be a dummy. Who is it? Who's the dumbest one? I mean, some of these are just unfortunate accidents, really, I feel. So, idiots, I don't know. Uh, but this one. This one. This, this dude's truck got destroyed. I think this is the dumbest one right here. <laughs> right there. Out of all the places you could have parked your truck, but then again, this could just be considered unlucky, really. Like, who would have known that it was going to fall in that direction? Then again, I feel like it's their job to know which direction it's going to fall in, but... <laughs> yeah, this thing completely decimated. What? <laughs> yeah. That's... That's the biggest idiot right there, I think. Maybe. Who could have foreseen, right? I don't know. Ah, uh, but, you know, uh, then again, there's this one. There's this one. This one right here, this guy. This guy. These two guys, actually. Yeah, that shit was bad. That... I don't, you didn't put on the emergency brake. You, you, you left it in drive. You, you fucking, you got out of your vehicle and somehow you couldn't get back into it. That's always, that's always baffled me. And borderline impressed me how some people just get locked out of their vehicle while their vehicle is still moving and they can't get back into it some way, somehow. Like, how do y'all even manage that? That's... It's almost impressive. I don't think you're dumb. I just think it's just like, holy shit, dude. Yo, Reverend, what's good, dog? How are you? How was your weekend? Oh, mine's going great. Mine's going fantastic. I had a great day yesterday. I've had a great day today. <sighs> oh, yes. You're actually, you're actually right. Where is he? Where is the fucking idiot? Yep, this is the dumbest. Never mind. Never mind. This guy right here. This is the biggest idiot. He tried to fill up his, he tried to fill up the air in his tire with a fire extinguisher. Bro, ain't no way. Ain't no way you're a real human being. I don't, I, I, I don't think this is real, man. This has got to be like an alternate galaxy or like a, this has got to be like a parallel dimension, man. Somehow, some way, we got a video clip from another fucking universe because there's no way that this man is from this planet. I just, I refuse to believe that he actually thought he could get away with it. <laughs> I refuse to believe that he actually truly believed in his brain that that that, that, that would work. Mm -mm. Not really. It has never crossed my mind. Ever. Man. But it could have been worse. He he could have he could have tried to use the gas pump. I know what you're thinking. There's no way he could be that dumb. Bro, look at him. He's using a fire extinguisher. I wouldn't put it past him to try to use the actual gas pump to Oh well I mean this has a hole in it and that has a hole. It might it 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 must fit here, let's see, and then just gas everywhere. Right? So can't put it past him, really. Um, this guy probably votes too. <laughs> oh, Don, what's going on? What's going on, man? How are you? How's your day? How's your weekend? How's your Saturday? To all of you that, uh, that have showed up, to all of you that have hung out, to all of you that have, uh, that have, have chilled with me on this Saturday. I appreciate it. To all of you that have been watching the videos lately on YouTube, I appreciate that too. 
for all of you that catch the streams every single day on Twitch, I appreciate you the most because we're there every day. Uh, yeah, Elaine, it's absolutely true. Just because it has a hole doesn't mean you have to stick something in it. That's... Her words have never been spoken. Yeah. So. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but... All right. Uh, am I gonna, uh, no, I'm actually gonna get off, man. I'm starving. Uh, I'm gonna go hang out with my niece for the rest of the evening and hang out with my sister. I think I might go to the park. I think I might take the rot. I think I might take the Rottweiler to the dog park. Uh, bitches had a lot of fucking energy this weekend and I saddle her ass down, get her some run time, get her some play time. Or I might just go out there in the backyard and run circles with her. But, yeah. I'm gonna hop off. Whatever we didn't get done today, we'll get done in the next variety stream on Twitch, which is gonna be on Tuesday. Um, Monday will be music. I don't know if we'll be live tomorrow. I'll let you guys know in the Discord. If we do go live tomorrow, it will be music, though. Okay? So, actually, technically, that means that the next variety stream will be on Monday. Because if we do go live tomorrow, it'll be a music stream. Uh, if we don't go live tomorrow, Monday will be the music stream. And it really just kind of all depends, really. Um, I didn't go live yesterday, so I kind of want to go live tomorrow. And if we do go live tomorrow, it will be on Twitch, period. Uh, it won't be on here. I only, I only do this on Saturdays. Uh, I don't know. I'll let you guys know. And if you're in the Discord, uh, I'll keep you in the loop. And uh, if you're curious, you can always DM me or at me or DM me on Instagram. One of, one of those two. Or hit me up in the comment section of one of my videos. I'm usually, I'm usually, I usually monitor those for the most part. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm starving. I'm going to go. I'm going to go get me some food. Uh, I hope y'all have a fantastic weekend. I hope you have a fantastic Saturday. Uh, again, if we go live tomorrow, I'll see ya. And if we don't go live tomorrow, I hope you have a fantastic Sunday. Uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. And hopefully I see you again on Monday. All right. So be good. Be safe. If y'all decide to, whatever y'all decide to do, man, it's Saturday. So freaks come out on Saturday. Drive safe, drink safe, smoke safe, all the usual safety brief bullshit. You know what I'm talking about? So, uh, love you guys. And, um, it, yeah, dude, Drake, if you're, in, if you're in Discord, I'll post a picture of the Rottweiler. She's, a, she's precious. One year old, 90 pounds, ball of fucking energy. She headbutted my sister yesterday and almost busted her lip and chipped her tooth. <laughs> that's how much energy she has man but all right guys love y'all peace dudes